As COVID is starting to get a little bit better uh, and the world's slowly returning back to normal, I gotta hype myself up when I go outside. And what better way to do that than with the best pair of earbuds I've ever stuck in my ear holes? That's Raycon. No matter how you're feeling about getting back out there, there's no denying it's an adjustment. When the world gets too loud, something I love to do is create my own soundtrack by popping in my Raycon wireless earbuds. I use my Raycons at the gym where I can listen to rap music and it gets me really pumped up. And let me tell you right now, Raycons are the best way to listen. They come with a bunch of gel tips for your comfort and unlike some other brands, they don't stick out of your ears. They start at half the price of other premium audio brands because they're epic, but they sound just as epic. And Raycons come with a 45 day happiness guarantee. So you really can't lose. Give them a try. You'll see what I mean. Create your own life soundtrack with Raycon. Right now, Super Mega Cast listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash supermega. That's buy, B-U-Y, raycon.com slash supermega to save 15% on Raycons. One more time for those in the back, that's buyraycon.com slash supermega. And listen, you can listen to the podcast with them. You may speak. Thank you. Welcome, guys. Episode 257 of the Super Mega Cast. And today, uh, Ryan and I are lucky enough to be <coughs> the guests on uh, our good buddy, Justin But Lag's podcast. Welcome back to the Lag Cast. Uh, Why have you not done that yet, dude? The Lag Cast? Yeah, you well, you're on it right now. You're on it right now. First oh, that's episode. right. Thanks for having yeah. us on. He just also uploads this to his channel. It's like the Lag Cast episode. You have permission to do that if you Thank want. Thank you. Did you replace all the maids? The what? The maids. What you talking about? At the Lagplex. <laughs> the lag plex. Yeah. <laughs> you said you wouldn't come to the shitty super megaplex, so we had to come all the way here. Well, to, uh, I, and I will say, Beverly Justin, Hills. this is nice. Yeah. 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 Beverly Hills real estate. I like how we're like in kind of a glass sphere overlooking like all of Los Angeles. Yep. It's very beautiful. But what I like is that it's it's like the like two way or the one way mirror thing where it's like people can't see what we're yeah, doing. Inside. It just looks like a metallic like silver ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tom Cruise is right down the street. Uh, fucking Christina Applegate. Ooh, is that him? Uh, oh, down there walking his duck. Oh, I think that is him. No, that's not him. That's fucking Bradley Cooper. Oh, oh they look, yeah. yeah. They do, they're pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, same hair. But thanks, dude. Yeah, but you you don't have the maids here today. No. The topless maids you usually get? No. <laughs> why is that funny? Sex work is work, I'm Ryan. What? Sex work is work. Why you? Why no, is that sorry. funny? No, I just, I just, I just it's did a, a little, a I valid just did a little job. crack cocaine. It's a valid oh. job. Justin, Justin gets good crack up here. I thought that Beverly Hills crack would be <laughs> whack, but the crack in Beverly, like, cause Sorry, good I'm crack still is just like, off the, yeah. Go downtown, you get good crack, but Beverly Hills, I thought it'd be that's like my own. That's my own brand. How do you think I afforded this? Justin place? in the kitchen with the baking soda, fucking cooking it's, up crack. It's a, it's lag cane. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but crack. <laughs> it's his own little brand. Uh, we know someone that's cooked crack. Do we? You and I, yeah. Who? <laughs> oh yeah Brent used to when he, in his 20s used to cook crack uh, for his mom off the record Freddy <laughs> okay. which makes sense Freddy's like yeah dude I've cooked crack several times yeah his mom would require it like several times a but day but she would she, it would die if she didn't get but crack but he was a good son so yeah downtown a, a guy is that uh, how you're talking about how I used to cook crack for my mother come on you first the bastards. penis shit wasn't enough you had to go for my mom <laughs> Why do you bully this poor guy so much? Because <laughs> he's lame. Never done anything. Yes, he has. He's never done he's anything. A stinky he's old a hard man. worker, Justin. What do you mean he hasn't done anything? <laughs> oh, I found out like his official like business name, like like registered business that he uses. Brent for, you for for like tax purposes. <laughs> Dude, I love Brent Tholomew. I met him once. Once he shook my hand. And then he asked if I work more than two hours a day. That was that was a dig on us. Not on, yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm like, Brent, wait, we fucking work on holidays for you when when we worked for you. Do we stayed at the office until like 3 a.m. half the time? You didn't work yeah. on the first year. You didn't work on the We weekend, worked on his you? birthday. And Brent fucking, Usually we're supposed to get off on Brent's birthday. It's a national holiday. Well, I do get off on Did Brent's birthday. Did he force you guys to work on the weekends ever? Yes. Yeah. All the time we worked on the. He weekend. held us a gunpoint at one. Like it was. We worked most. We weekends. we we learned later on it was just a water gun spray painted because he actually did pull the trigger and I flinched and then it was just water. Well, and he didn't laughed. mean to, and it kind of it kind of. Did I ever show you that video of the dude that's the old guy that's asleep and like his grandson I guess like starts playing trumpets and like wakes him up and he, the dude's like what the fuck. <laughs> No, he's trying to make him think he died and went to heaven. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll see you guys later. I saw this video where it's like this dude asleep on the couch at a party, and like all of his friends have like handguns, and like they filmed this waking him up. Where like all six of them have them just like pointed at his face, oh like my- wake your ass up, and he's like, <laughs> like <laughs> all around. Them. I saw another one where there's like a mouse like in the corner of like the garage sitting there, and everyone has their guns. And he's like, man, fess up, fess up. Come on. <laughs> It's good shit. Good shit. They didn't. They didn't shoot it. No, I hope sure? not. Well, that'd be awful if they did. But it was. Uh, it what was does fine. mouse taste like? People eat guinea pig. I wonder if anyone that listens to this has eaten mouse. A lot, of course, Justin. You think so? What Someone is, has what eaten is, human. That's I guess similar to, this. to what squirrel would taste like, right? My dad rodents. used to shoot and eat squirrels, squirrels as a kid. Yeah. My Why? dad was like, "Son, when I was a kid, I'd go hunting squirrels and I'd cook them up and eat them." I'm like, "Yeah, you're from South Carolina for sure, Dwayne," which he goes by Dale, his middle name, because Dwayne. He thought it sounded too redneck, and I'm like, Dwayne sounds less redneck than. I mean, Dale. he already he already eats squirrels. Like, why is he worried about his name? Exactly. No, exactly. no, no diss on people that eat squirrels. Didn't he go around I mean, your old neighborhood with a BB gun and shoot all the cats, squirrels? Are which you? that's actually not a a bit. He did. He, uh, the BB gun I had as a kid, like when when he, he sees just like shoots squirrels with him. <laughs> yeah, dude. And my my mom, Psychopath. my mom and I would get so take mad. that dude. sting. What the fuck? Well, he would do it because they would get onto the bird feeder and like start eating the bird seed, and he's like, he's the protector of birds. And he would hit in the squirrel would like go running. Oh no, the squirrel tried to eat the fucking nuts that were left in the. That's exactly what I said. He's like all pissed off. I'm like, Dad, they're scavenging animals. And you literally have like there, there's like You're a large quantity them. of yeah. nuts. Like, like you think in the wild the birds are like like they only eat a certain type of thing and squirrels eat something completely different. Son, you don't understand. The birds are gonna starve unless we do this. <laughs> its instinct is to eat nuts, and it sees oh, just yeah, readily it available, like perfectly, like n- not even a, uh, like hard to get. It's just like here's a whole bunch of nuts and seeds. Of course, the squirrel's gonna go fucking eat it. I fucking love nuts, man. Have you seen those squirrel obstacle courses this guy makes on YouTube? I love squirrels. He has just like these squirrels that are just, I guess, just hang around. He makes these obstacle courses for him. Br- I have, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brain to games. get to like the, <clears throat> to get to like one was a, a heist themed one that they had to crack the Mark safe Rover. to get all the nuts. Yeah. I love squirrels. Is that his name? Yeah, he's so awesome. Yeah, he gets like fifty bajillion views on every video. Good. Because he, upload, he uploads like 12 times a year, but like every time it's like, hey, this is like number one on trending for two months. <laughs> what was, uh, I used to watch this channel, um, I don't remember what animal it was, but it was like taste testing chips. And they like got like 20 different types of chips and they just had the animal just like taste testing all the different chips. It wasn't a squirrel. It was a raccoon. It's like they would put it, ne- put them next to each other and like they would either See what like he keep like, eating yeah, one or go It was a little raccoon who like pick it up and like taste the different chips and like pick what he likes and they'd like. It, well, it was, what, was the, what was the number one chip? Um, I think it was like my barbecue or something. I don't remember. I watched it a long time ago. It was a whole Barbecue's channel for good. a raccoon. Barbecue. Sweet like trash. Mm-hmm. I fuck with the kettle cooked barbecue chips. Kettle cooked or kettle cooked or that's kettle the cooked. I'm, I'm really on that like Pringles, like oh, what is it called? Like su- spicy southern heat or Sweet whatever. Heat. The one that's like kind of dark Sp- purple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Those my are favorite good. Doritos like are the... Purple. I don't know what that color is. More red. It's burgundy, purple. sweet and spicy uh, chili Doritos are my favorite. The purple bag. Those are good. Yep. I'm a I'm bag. a Doritos expert. I Have you had the pickle nothing ones? Nothing but Doritos. They were lim- they were limited, ones. and you could only get them in certain stores in LA. But they had pickle Doritos, and my friend had them, and she said they were like incredible. And I've never I been able one. to find them. See, I, I I can do like pickled flavored things because it's really just. Do you not like? I just don't like eating pickles. You don't like pickles? I just no. had pickles on my Five Guys burger. Pickles are good on. Disgusting. I'm not a fan of pickles by themselves because, like, especially a big pickle because it's like too, like, you know, like crunchy. But then it's like, but I do like gherkins, like the tiny little ones that are like this big with like the bumps all over them that they give you. Are with, they crunchy like, or something? And they're kind of sweet, and they give them to you with like charcuterie boards. So good. Ever had boiled peanuts, Justin? <laughs> what? Boiled, pe- boiled, boiled peanuts? peanuts? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Have we had this conversation with you before? Or is it just... Mm. I feel like we'd ask this to a lot someone of guests. Else. I, I have no clue what a boiled peanut Dude, is. Dude, we should get a box it's a, of... It's, it's You just boil p- peanuts. And then you eat it? In salt water. Yeah, and it's delicious. It's, they're fucking delicious. Do you guys so, also put peanuts in your, your Coke? Is no, that, my dad did yeah, that. His dad did that. My dad was like, son, you, we're on I've never tried it. And he's like... Did you ever try it? Yeah. What did you think? It's, like, it's fucking stupid. Like, <laughs> he's like, son, you gotta, you gotta try this. And like, I, I'm actually pretty sure I had a Coke and he had some peanuts and like, he didn't even ask me. He just like took a handful and just dropped them in my Coke and was like, now try that. I did this all the time as a kid. And I was like, I did it. And it's like, 
this is like backwash, but worse. Is and it kind of like a, he gets a little treat sometimes when he's drinking? Well, I was like, why would you do this? He's like, it's like a snack and a drink. I'm like, or you could just eat just peanuts, peanuts while separately. you drink Coke. And also like, why do those go, those don't like Coke and peanuts. It's not really a. God, I'm so disappointed in you, boy. Well, I'm going to go shoot some squirrels to get my anger out. <laughs> He also, uh, I remember one time was like hyping it up to me, like, son, when I was a kid, oh, such a treat. My my grandma would give molasses. You got to try molasses. And he like made me a piece of like burnt toast and he put some molasses <laughs> on it. And like the way molasses looks, I was expecting like something really it's sweet just like and good. A, like, a, like a fatherly figure to like fuck that shit up completely. Burnt toast. Pretty, it plays right into like the 90s stereotype of like a family guy. <laughs> Come I knew on. I knew hey. someone that used to pronounce it that way from hey. high school, and he died. Family Guy. Mm -hmm. He said South Park and Family Guy, but and then he died a couple years after high school. That's um, unfortunate. That sucks. Shouldn't have pronounced it that way. But basically, uh, my dad got like the heel end of the of the bread, and then like burnt it and gave it to me, and then had some. Or probably wasn't the heel, but I remember it being that bad. <laughs> Just making your dad sound like the worst fucking cook ever. Like. Well, he is, dude. My, when my mom would go to like book club or probably just out cheating, uh, my dad would make dinner and he would make uh, kale because he got into this like health craze with kale and he would like boil kale and it would be like, you know, I like kale, but I'm not like crazy about kale. Like by itself, like just kale like as eating kind of like just a salad. It's all right. It's not my favorite, mm. but he put so much salt on it. I'd be like, but the molasses, he put some molasses on. He's like, try this, son. Like his eyes were glowing a little bit. Do you have that, though? Do you have like a or you a question to all here? The the nights at the at the oval table. Do you have like a childhood food that like you could just that's what I want? Like it's like your it would be your go to comfort food if you had it. Yes. What is that? It was so it was two things that would I'd have in the same meal. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom would make it. It was like this microwave. Uh, it was I think it was creamed spinach, but it was like a microwave one that was like frozen. You microwave it really good. And then also baked apples, which would also microwave where it's just like these like little apple slices that are really soft, like apple pie type, like covered in like this like sweet glaze. Mm -hmm. And oh, now I want to call my mom and give her a kiss. Just but molasses like tastes like shit. It's disgusting. Honestly, anything my mom makes, I really like. So what about pretty love? much anything. I, I love my mom. <laughs> I just didn't want to give it any credit, so any credit? Yeah. Don't don't good jokes deserve credit, Justin? Justin, good we're always do, we're yeah. always talking on the podcast about how funny you are. We always credit your jokes, man. I make one joke and you don't fucking like it and shoot me down. Why you give me that face? Deal with it, bro. <laughs> How would you react if when he said that, like out of thin air, like those sunglasses come down and just, <laughs> dude, dude. That's some scream. some fucking meme music plays? Who the fuck just texted me? Oh, it was something from Reddit. We're getting Larry care. Kinged right now. Larry Reddit King. What does that mean? It was something from when oh Larry King when Larry Victoria's King racist. answered his phone and had a full conversation on Dave Rubin's show. <laughs> yeah. Now he's Dave fucking Rubin dead, man. <laughs> Dave Rubin, do you know who that is? Yeah, I know Dave Rubin. <laughs> okay. Who is it? Dave Rubin's like I a like uh, kind of like a he's a self-described libertarian, right? Mm -hmm. Um he he speaks for the common man. He's like he's like he's one he's of those a political commentator. Yeah. Who's gay he's on gay. the right? But he's not he, homosexual, he he's just But gay. he doesn't make it his thing like Milo Yiannopoulos did, you know? I don't even know who He's that not is. like, I'm You don't know who Milo is? I don't know Do you who not Milo keep up is. with far-right commentators? <laughs> no, I don't, actually. <laughs> just a bunch of white dudes screaming about You'll me. You'll recognize angry. Steven Crowder. Yeah, because you talk about him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ben think Shapiro? Ryan talks about Steven Crowder and Ben Shapiro so much. He's always talking about that is true. with Crowder. Because like, I, because I, 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 well, yeah, they're posters. Yeah, it, well, I'm a part of the Mug Club, actually. What's that? The Mug? Oh, you don't know what on. the Mug Club? Is? Justin, we we got you a membership as part of it. The comes, it's one of the benefits of working. You get health insurance and you get a Mug Club membership. Oh, yep, mine must have gotten lost in the mail. Oh, we'll, we'll have it reset. Well, something came in the mail today. Mug Club <laughs> yep. membership. I also have the Daily Wire subscription where I get my uh, uh, leftist tears coffee mug. They love mugs, man. Yeah, I love having all my mugs. Club. Dude, can we make one that's like that, but it's like leftist cum? Like left, <laughs> leftist semen, and then sell that one? 
No. No? Okay, well, fine. Damn, everyone's just shooting you down today. I know, man. It's... Don't worry. Pitch me, pitch me something else. Got any good ideas? I got some great ideas. Okay, pitch me these ideas, funny man. Okay. okay? So. Don't mind me. I'll be playing with the rings on the multiple million dollar rings on my finger. Okay. Don't get distracted. I won't. <laughs> it's like yeah. shining in my eye. Like, uh, all right. Justin's holding a magnifying glass and like. <laughs> so it's it's a it's a family of asparagus, and they're self conscious about the way their pee smells. What's it a reference to? What I know, Miles Finch. <laughs> what it's from Elf? Right? You know that, that, Justin? When they're, it? they're going, they're going like when they're having the pitch mini with Miles Finch, the little man, and they're like, I mean, I fucking love Elf. That Peter Dinklage, awesome. you mean? My, yeah. my mom just texted me and sent me a a. Nudes. K- K- Khalid? What's his name? Ka- Khalid? 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 The artist? The music? DJ this Khalid? Dude? Yeah. Or Little Khalid? Little Khalid? Yeah. She sends me this dude's music. She thinks I like him or something. But like, every time I see him come up, it just reminds me when I was on Ellen. Because that was the LSD. song. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the song. The song yeah. from when you guys were on Ellen. And it's like, can we just talk? Can we just talk? <laughs> Songs that you never- That's a nightmare song to me. It is too, I and it's like it, these pop songs just spiked songs you... my anxiety. Just some stranger. Fuck just... Ellen. <laughs> Fuck Ellen. I fucking hate Ellen. Dumb motherfucker. What do you think of Dory, Stupid. Though? Come Fuck on. Dory. What? Fuck Ellen. I think finding Dory's, Dory's fine fucking in the ass. Finding Dory Fuck is you, Ellen. not that great. Fuck you. Your Fuck show fucking Dory and sucks. Dory good. Your show fucking you sucks. Say? You're not gonna get any of your audience members to awkwardly fucking dance on stage anymore. Oh, they're just having a party. Fuck <laughs> Ellen. Hey man. Fuck Ellen. The only time I want to see Ellen is if she's scissoring some hot chick. Apparently, <laughs> apparently lesbians don't even scissor. What? Yeah. It kind of shattered my whole Bullshit. world when I found that out. No. Nope. Because it would hurt, wouldn't it? Don't ruin this. Well, Justin, it's not Wait. what you think where they have a pair of scissors and stick them in their vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I got in trouble when I was in like seventh grade because I looked up scissoring on the computer and then didn't clear the history. My mom was like. Matthew, <laughs> it's when you put two pieces. It's a thing you do it's in like school. Taking two pieces of lunch meat and slapping them together. <laughs> it's like mom, like I, I, I think it was so dumb getting like grounded or in trouble for like looking up. Like I get why, like it's like that's bad. But my it's dad like saved me that one time. My dad did the opposite, threw me <laughs> under the bus. But it, it's it like it's like you're in, it's like a seventh grade boy. Of course you're gonna want to look that stuff up. Yeah, it's human nature. I mean. Pfft. Well, I can't continue to use my teddy bears. Exactly. Jesus Christ. Well, it's great. You can cut one open, get like some raw steak. Yeah. Put it inside. I and mean, when you fuck it, it feels like a woman's pussy. Or a man's butthole. Or a woman's butthole. Whatever whatever you. Or a man's bleeding anus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm a bleeding if it's anus. it's a raw steak. It's I'm a gonna, bleeding anus liberal. You're getting a little blood on there. A little muscle, muscle juice, yeah. You know the term bleeding heart liberal? Yeah. More like bleeding anus liberal. <sighs> Do you remember that story you told when we played Sonic where you shoved the Sharpie marker up your ass? Yeah. I always told that story many times, and I have done the same. <laughs> what about it? Come on. Justin, you said you've never put anything up your ass. No, I haven't. Ever? Never. Never. That's crazy. Justin, I don't believe that. I, I, I'm telling the truth. Justin, you know? everyone stuck something up their I, ass. I, honest to God, don't think I've ever stuck something up my ass. Not even your own little finger to dig some poop out? <laughs> well, that doesn't count. <laughs> Not even while he's shitting, just sitting like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's stuck. I gotta, you know. You know what you've shoved up your ass? What? My dreams. What the fuck did I do? You not have any nostalgic recollections of yourself? Justin, I put it. I put a Nintendo DS style down my urethra. No, oh, fuck! I hate that you did that. Why? Why are you judging me? Because it makes me cringe. No, it hurt. It hurt really bad. I well, and. Di- I've, I've told this story many times. Did you I actually, actually do that? or is this I like forgot a, that I ever told that story, and then I regretted telling that thing? because I see memes about it. Uh, but basically, like, oh, when I was, like, younger. Stop. I, Nintendo DS stylus. Ugh. But, like, you have to lube stuff to stick it in your dick. Nah. So, like, it, I, oh, also, I didn't, like, stick it down my dick. I put it maybe, like, that, like. Still. Like, a fourth of a centimeter. To, I, was like, I was like, what does this feel like? And it hurt really bad. You don't stick shit down there, man. Not even soap. Well, somebody Ooh. listening right now, Ryan, <laughs> likes sounding. The fact that it's called sounding upsets me. I know. Why is, is it called, called sounding? Because you make a sound when it, and you go, because you go, ah! Because then you Oof. blow into it. It's like, you know, there's a, like, like an empty wine glass. Fucking Don always sends me sounding stuff. 
Like Does he really? Yeah, like he loves sounding. <laughs> that that makes so much sense. Where's the sounding art, Don? Don he fucking loves it. Would you guys? It's all he talks about on, on Discord. On Patreon, what we should do is we should have Don draw like some actual sexual art of our characters, and it's like official Rule Thirty Four, and you have to go to our oh Patreon to see. It. One of I want him to just draw both of us sounding, <laughs> and then put that on Patreon. He, he pretty, he's probably done it already. Uh, probably in his free time. Have you ever seen the <laughs> yeah. like, the, the porn Don draws? It's great. It's really good. It's that really boy has good. an imagination. I've never seen Don's porn. Really? He never. Ha- he's really good. Yeah. But it's like, it's so... He's a talented man. It's so like visual. It's so like, like you could tell like... This it's is visceral. This is, this is a you know? horny man. Like he... he <laughs> like like down to like detail, like, the, 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 like just specifically what's going on. It's just like, this is exactly what Don wants. And what exactly. Don wants, Don, Don gets. gets. Where, do you, where do you find Don's porn? On his Patreon. And his, yeah, pay- we're subscribed to his Patreon to support him. But then, like, I go and it's just, like, like, like a naked, uh, like, anime girl with, like, her big pussy on my sister's call. <laughs> big pussy. Should I answer this call from my sister? Yeah. Put this on the one podcast. in the compilation. No, I won't. Oh, <laughs> no. Hey, Sam. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Working or at home? Nope. No. Nah. Where are you? Are you a cop? What are you? Jeez. What's the what's the what, what's going on with you? Why are you acting like this? What's up with you right now? What? What? Why, why are you being like this? What's going on? To see if you had taken my Adderall suggestion. Sam, you can't talk about that on my podcast. Oh, are you filming? I'm recording. It's your podcast? Yeah, Matt. No, <laughs> our podcast. Hmm. That's rude. I'm slip of the tongue, eh? There, go, there goes my ego again. <laughs> what, what was your Adderall suggestion? Uh, you, should, you should take it like 30 minutes to an hour before you want to wake up. Like, before you drink a glass life. of wine at night before bed. <laughs> 11 p.m. down it with a glass of wine it because it works for the next day yeah no no that that mom told me that she's like your sister said that what you should do is take it 30 minutes before you wake up so then you won't have a hard time waking up that's a terrible impression of mom but tell her to um, do a better one do a better one i i feel like i probably already sound like mom no but you look like her You, you like set your alarm for an hour before you want to wake up and then you just take it go back to sleep and then you wake up naturally with Adderall. I might be the only person who's ever been able to take an Adderall and then take a nap. I did that when I, we were in New York. I, I do that too, but it, it does help. Like it'll okay. get you. No, you should try it. Well, and thank you for the drug suggestion. Um, if, if you play this, anyone else out there on Adderall should do it too because it helps. Are you trying Ooh. to get my, my viewers into using amphetamines? Druggy, you fucking junkie. No, yeah, no, Adderall is horrible for, for you. It's so bad for your heart. It's going to make your heart explode. I have a legal prescription. But I'm I do too. I'm, I'm not illegally taking Adderall, but it's bad. I, I only take it when I really need to do work. I sure. Every day. Say what you need to Sam, say. Sam, you're going to have a heart attack. Justin, you take like two or three a day, right? Four. Oh, okay. All right, uh, baby, we'll all uh, talk to you later. <laughs> What? You never that one time we talked about it, but you never answered. Is that you? Should, you really should consider playing uh, papers, please. Oh, you see, you're just trying to appeal to the fans. You're trying to become a fan favorite. That's why. I, oh, you guys should say yes, yes, yes. Daddy likes more and and play papers, please. We do want to play papers, please again, and we and we are. I, actually, I don't know those references, so that was a weird thing to say. But ooh, uh, oh. that game is. It's super fun. I've been playing it again on my iPad. I know. I love Papers, Please. It's for iPad? Yeah. That's the only way I've ever played it. Also, oh, I'm playing Subnautica right now. That's a fun game. I couldn't do it. I finally got it. I couldn't do it. It's a fun game. Too scared. Justin is on the podcast and right now he's making like a talking too much. Justin, I know that's how you think of women, that they just talk too much, but... I I, I was making it for you, not your sister. 
Well, don't you think she feels left out now? No, I mean, I, I don't I don't mind hearing her talk. Sam, talk to Justin. Hello. Oh, wait, 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 real fast. One more update. Can you please update uh, everyone for the wedding video? Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, oh what, what, right. what's the update? See ya. <laughs> what's the update for the wedding video? It's done. Is and it? I gave it to her. Yeah. And we watched it. Legit. Is it an end to an era? It is. I, I didn't announce it yet because I didn't know like how to, but I did I did the wedding video. Can you post it on Patreon? Well, okay, so Can you make a funny edit and post that's it on what Patreon? I was, so there's a full highlight reel. <clears throat> and then so I mean there's like a full wedding video, which I'm not putting that on Patreon, but then no, there, of course not. there is a uh like um like a highlight reel that's like three minutes long and I I should I'll, when I go home today, maybe I'll edit that. Add some fart sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Boom. Give them, give them what the patrons love. I think, I think honestly, Ryan, if we want to become rich, it's be like Sam's wedding video on Patreon now. I mean, I'll just upload two monkeys fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, I did the wedding video. Oh, I gave it to her for her birthday, for her 30th birthday. It's like, remember that thing I was Damn, supposed to just old. give you five years ago? Well, now I've saved it. So it's a birthday present. It's a good year of like five year anniversary gift. Well, their five year anniversary actually already passed. Oh, but just by a little bit, though. She cried when she watched it because she finally got it. Well, because it was so bad. <laughs> and she's like, I remember when my marriage was this good. Uh, can you unedit it? <laughs> Justin, we need you to go unedit some videos. OK, <laughs> what you need? Everything. Justin, would you mind going through our channel and making a highlight reel of everything? Yeah, I would mind actually. A a a, a second from each video, the best second. Of oh, each a video. second from each. The, God, could you imagine having to download the every best single one? Second from each. One by one on like the like YouTube to MP4 website. Yeah, just one by one. I used to have to do that for a whole month's worth of videos all the time. That's right. And I couldn't I couldn't cut out sections of it, so I would have to like just one by one download the whole thing, and it would take hours and like. I'd have to like drive places, try to bum Wi-Fi sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah. The days yeah. where you would go sit in parking lots. And then I got I got pulled over by a, a a cop one time who lied and said that my license plate didn't match my car when it and did. And that you're selling drugs. Yeah, he 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 got a drug dog to search my car because he just felt like fucking Wait, really? with me. Yeah, yeah. It, it was they, like they can't do that unless there's probable cause, and they have to ask you. Well, to Justin had drugs in his trunk. Oh yeah, they he he, he was dealing drugs. He in ran the my, bumper sticker that says "I am a drug dealer." <laughs> yeah. He ran my license plate and he was like, hey, uh, for some reason your license plate doesn't match your car. I'm going to search. I'm going to uh, have my drug dog go around your car real quick. Uh, uh, and he, he fucking did it. And then. Was this in the Bentley? This was in the Lambo. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, yeah, that's. The uh, Aventador? No, the Mercy. Oh. Yeah. Not the Diablo? Fucking. I sold the Diablo to fucking. What's his name? What? Terry Crews. Ah, oh, I would have bought it, dude. Anyways, he's he had the dog go around my car, and then on his radio, the dispatch lady was like, "Hey, I checked." Well, she doesn't sound. They don't talk like this, actually. But, uh, <laughs> hey, she she's, she was like, "Hey, uh, I ran the plate. Like, it matches the car. I don't really know what you're talking about." And then dude's like, he like turns his fucking <clears throat> radio down on his belt as she's Shut talking, up. and he's like, "Well, uh, we searched your car. So it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong. Uh, you go to school around here." And then I'm like, he just wanted some conversation because his wife kicked him out. And like, <laughs> he looked like hey, it. So, uh, he had a fucking Punisher skull on his on his <laughs> car, and he had a big Blue Lives Matter. Flag. You know exactly what type of cop. That yeah, is. are they allowed well, to have that on their cars? It's are they allowed. It's, to it's ironic them? that they have the Punisher. I associate on their car. Punisher with police. Yeah, it, that's ironic because he doesn't fuck with the cops. No, he. Kills but a Punisher him. is he's like, a cop killer. Yeah, but Punisher like the Punisher sticker and and. Like, do you ever see anyone with a Punisher sticker that it's not also paired with like a Blue Lives Matter no. sticker? They go so <laughs> or like hand I've hand. seen the Punisher Blue Lives Matter combo because people think that it means like they think that they, they think the they, Punisher's on their side. They imagine themselves as Frank Castle in like beating the, the shit scenario. out of innocent people. Yeah. I'm the savior. I'm a hero. Well, that's why they like it because that's what cops do. They come from the blood of of a long line of of losers. I mean. Racist. I mean, cops. <laughs> <laughs> they all go hand in hand to me. There you go. There's their fucking politics again. Deal. No, cops deal, are just gay, guys. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> what, you disagree? Some cops are gay. Some of them are. There are I've some read some articles. Cops. About gay cops? Pff, yeah. Can you call this episode Gay Cops? <laughs>
No. Don't okay. call it gay cops. <laughs> Why, Justin? Call Do you have something against gay cops? My Silence lawyer, is deafening. My lawyer has advised me not to say anything. <laughs> my loyalty lies with gay cops. Me too. Well, the gay side of them, not the cop side of them. Oh, I love the gay side. I mean, I, I, I still don't, like, <laughs> I don't, I'll, like, when I'm in bed with one of them, I'll say, listen, like, I really don't, like, respect what you do for a living, and I don't like it, but... Uh, you as a person are you beautiful a, and complex. Right, and and your gay side is is really beautiful, and, um, you know, it's it's just kind of uh, touching uh, to see such a duality in one man. But anyways, goodbye. I don't think I can do this again. I thought you were ending the podcast. I was like, no, oh, we still have ad reads. It's a little soon. Justin, do the ad reads. No. Okay, we'll do the ad reads. Yeah. You know how people say, imagine everyone in their underwear to make you feel more comfortable? As if imagining a room full of strangers down to their skivvies is what makes us comfy. Well, MeUndies believes comfort does not start with imagining, but instead, it starts with actual physical comfort. That's why they make the softest undies and fun prints to help you feel comfortable at your core so you can feel ready to take on anything. No half-naked room necessary. I wear MeUndies literally almost every single day, and so does Ryan, uh, because I've replaced pretty much my entire uh, underwear drawer with MeUndies because they are legitimately the softest, most breathable, comfortable underwear. I can't imagine wearing anything else. And the only time I do wear anything else is because I've soiled all my other pairs of MeUndies and I have to use the, the cheap boxers that my mother sent me. And let's talk about them. MeUndies are designed to be the softest thing on, dare we say it, this planet. Kittens? Yeah. That's old news. MeUndies' signature micromodal fabric literally grows from trees, making their undies not only super soft, but also sustainable. They offer different cuts because they just get it. We've got different butts. Check out their undies, socks, bralettes, loungewear, Onesius, and more, ranging from sizes XS to 4XL. And if it doesn't get better than that, MeUndies has a great offer for listeners of the Super Mega Podcast. For any first-time purchasers, you'll get 15% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. So to get 15% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee on the best undies on the planet, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. Yay! After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after speaking with them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. By cutting out retail stores, there's no crazy overhead costs that get passed down to you in the form of mystery fees. Instead, Mint just passes on sweet savings direct to you. Mm -hmm. Mint Mobile is so, it's so great and fun to use. I, I use it at, with my side businesses, with all my side cell phones. It's just really cheap and I can run this business smoothly. I don't want to say what the business is, particularly because it's still in the works, but it, things are going just as planned. It's also not necessarily legal, Shh. but... For people looking for extra savings, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless at just 15 bucks a month. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven day money back guarantee. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash supermega. As COVID is starting to get a little bit better uh, and the world's slowly returning back to normal, I got to hype myself up when I go outside. I want it to feel like I'm the main character of, a, of an awesome rom-com minus the rom. When I walk down the sidewalk, I need to mm, feel that, feel that pump, maybe some dubstep. And what better way to do that than with the best pair of earbuds I've ever stuck in my ear holes? That's Raycon. 
No matter how you're feeling about getting back out there, there's no denying it's an adjustment. When the world gets too loud, something I love to do is create my own soundtrack by popping in my Raycon wireless earbuds. Sometimes you need some upbeat music to pump you up before you see people or to stay calm with some guided meditation. I use my Raycons at the gym where I can listen to rap music and it gets me really pumped up. And let me tell you right now, Raycons are the best way to listen. They come with a bunch of gel tips for your comfort and unlike some other brands, they don't stick out of your ears. Raycons have a 32 hour battery life so you can listen to what you want, when you want for a really long time. You could listen to this podcast for well over a day straight. They start at half the price of other premium audio brands because they're epic, but they sound just as epic. And Raycons come with a 45 day happiness guarantee, so you really can't lose. Give them a try. You'll see what I mean. And it's it's uh, co-founded by Ray J, uh, that guy. Create your own life soundtrack with Raycon. Right now, Super Megacast listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash supermega. That's buy, B-U-Y, raycon.com slash supermega to save 15% on Raycons. One more time for those in the back, that's buyraycon.com slash supermega. And listen, you can listen to the podcast with them. Okay, we're back from the ad reads. Well, those are some great ad reads. Good. You know, I had a dream last night, actually, that we were doing the podcast, and, uh, see, I can't even escape it in my sleep. Pinch yourself. Are you dreaming? Just wake up in bed. <laughs> what would you do? Well, it kind of sucks because I'm like, well, damn it. It's like, it's like doing work and then undoing work. <laughs> but basically, I, um, I had a dream last night that we were doing the podcast, and we were like, dude, we only have two ads, and we like, high five, and we were all excited. That would be great. One day, we'll have no ads on the podcast. Whoa. Also, how no, do you guys- even, even Joe Rogan has ads on his podcast. Everyone has ads on their podcast. Unless you're a poor little bitch, baby. Um, but basically, we, uh, I mean, even Comtown has ads. But they just get like the shittiest gambling websites and like, uh, or Blue Chew. I'm so, I wish we could have done more Blue Chew ads. We only did one. And then they didn't- Blue Chew? <laughs> yeah, you know what that is? Uh, oh, yeah, he knows what it is. He uses it. It's some kind of, isn't it just, is it Viagra? Yeah. Blue in, Chews Viagra yeah, in it's, gum form, not gum, in chewable Chewables. form, Chewables. delicious. I thought mm. about getting some. I'll take some. three. I thought about getting some just a, just in case. <laughs> what do you mean, just in case? It doesn't matter how like. What are you preparing for? War. <laughs> the right before in the, I, in the future, Blue Chew will be currency <laughs> like bottle caps and Fallout. You know, like uh, in Saving Private Ryan, like when they storm the beach. Mm -hmm. Everyone popped blue chew before that. <laughs> and that's why we won the war. God. Just imagine they're that scene, but they all just have raging erections that you can just see through. Like through their pants. You can see like all their bell ends through their wet pants. <laughs> that movie's so fucked up. Dude, the first time I saw that movie, my mom was gone one night, uh, probably cheating, and my dad was like, son, let's watch a, a movie. And you know, he's like <laughs> Little pussy boy, you're gonna grow up today, and you're gonna see what 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 the real world's like. Um, so instead of watching fucking uh, Elmo in, in Grouchland, like I wanted to, we puts on Saving Private Ryan, and uh, I I don't remember how old I was. I wasn't like super old, and I hadn't seen movies like that before, and I had no idea like like old Steven Spielberg. Yeah, I didn't know how intense it was. Well, he did direct Jaws, and I sit down. And like my dad turns the lights off the volume up. I'm like, oh, man, I'm excited to watch a movie with my dad. And the fucking first scene happens, this speech. And I was like, my dad's like, right after it ends, he's like, I'm going to go grab a drink. And like pause it and goes downstairs. And I'm sitting there in silence. And I literally was like shaking. I was like. <sighs> <sighs> I think it was actually one of the most like terrified, anxious experiences I've ever had watching. Was that movie. like your first violent scene? Yeah, yeah. Think? And that's a fucking graphic ass scene. Yeah. Like the dude's like face like caved in from a bullet and like people on fire and like the guy walking around like picking his arm up off the ground and like that happened to me with saw four i saw saw four when i was like seven years old what yeah that, that's an awful movie to take i don't think i would like saw as, as a 25 year old no it wasn't it wasn't my mom if you get if you yeah know what i'm saying uh pastor. huh pastor rick oh yeah I, I cut that out. i know he doesn't want i i specifically just more like pastor prick <laughs> well Thank in you. justin's case yes for multiple reasons. I don't want to talk about Rick right now. Can we change the topic? We, yeah. We all have long hair now. I'm Pastor Rick. We, we do all have long hair now. We all have long hair. It's the era of long hair. It is. And I, I, I'd like to I'd like to say that Ryan pioneered it. Oh, wow. For I was sure. the first man with long hair. Yes. 
you know, I decided to grow out my hair one day, and I went, no other man. Now everyone's this. doing it and out the here. copied you. Everyone's doing it out here. Yep. I mean, long hair's in right now, you know? Yeah. Well, it's funny because, like, Fabio got the idea from me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude. His whole fucking appearance is based on you. So did all women. They looked at Ryan. They're like, we should try that instead of shaving our heads. Well, you're just a trendsetter. You are. You're a little trendsetter. Thank you. Thank you, boys. You're a little. Uh, it's it's hard work. Here. I wake up exhausted, you know, building empires every day, mm. <laughs> watching them fall. Well, hopefully not. I do like I do like the long hair saga of Super Mega. Yeah, because, you know, like the longest my hair ever was, was when I was in like sixth or seventh grade when I when it was like Anthony from Smosh is what I was basing my hair on. Oh, it's not like a joke. In like, the, like the kind of flippy. And I'd Maddie walk with B. my raps days. Yeah. And I'd walk with like my head tilted sideways to keep my hair like that when I would be wearing my skinny jeans and my Vans um, <laughs> and my button up flannel shirt buttoned all the way to the top because it, it was the that era. So of, that that's the thumbnail. It's all three of us with extremely long hair. I yes, don't think Justin calls is. the shots here. Disgustingly long I hair. I think it should be Justin sticking Flies. a Sharpie up his ass <laughs> in bed with a gay cop. <laughs> well, we're watching in, in glee. And we have long hair, but Justin's shaved bald. I mean, <laughs> or we could just do long hair, but, you know, this is no, your podcast. See, see that so. was more creative. See, long There's, hair, th- Justin, think of people, all the, think, long think of all the good, things, like the focal make, points in that image. People aren't going to just click just because it's us with long hair. They're just gonna click if you're, stuff, if you're shoving a sharpie up your ass. They're not gonna click in general. I think that we actually should make that the thumbnail. Okay, you like that? We'll get done. Are you cool it. with that, Justin? No, but you're gonna do it anyways. So what does it matter what I say? Exactly. Yep. Exactly. This is why we. This is why we make the big bucks. Yeah, high five. Yeah, high five, high. Justin. No. Okay. Well, just for that, we're gonna also uh, in the thumbnail. Um, Justin, you're you're. He's gonna be wearing a ball gag. Yep. And you're gonna have instead of shoes on, you're gonna have watermelon on both your feet. Why? And a clown shoe on your head. <laughs> <laughs> and the sharpie's gonna be like two feet long, like a big ass sharpie. And then there's gonna be it's a gonna be like gonna be this wide fucking too. wide, like just like a fucking tree trunk. <laughs> yes. Yeah, dude. And next to the cop in bed is, uh, there's going to be another gay cop and they're going to be kissing. Because Don's going to draw this uncensored and then it's just, the thumbnail's just going to get yeah, pixelated, right? Every time I tell, we tell Don to draw a thumbnail where it's like, hey, can you draw like Ryan with no pants on, but like censored? He draws like a super hyper realistic cock and then barely blurs it. <laughs> like, and just blur, like he just blurs like just the outline too. So it's like, so not Don has area. drawn us naked. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, but basically, yeah. the uh, the thing is, it's like Don. When you zoom out on this, first of all, even blown up, it's not censored enough. But when you zoom out and it's a small thumbnail, it just looks like he has his cock out. <laughs> I know because it's like if you just slightly pixelate it and make it like the pixelation, the exact shape of his cock hanging out, it's like that's the point. <laughs> I've had to censor it. shit so much that Don sent us. I'm like, dude, we can't make that the thumbnail. Tell him to send it uncensored, so we'll do the censoring. This we'll put time. it on Patreon. <laughs> we'll put the uncensored no, on Patreon. <laughs> My sister texted me, Jason's or Cheesecake Factory? Sorry, wrong person. Hmm. I'm thinking Cheesecake Factory. I'm thinking Cheesecake. What are you thinking? I've never been to Cheesecake Factory. I still want to go. That's right. Whoa, we got to take them. them. I'll the, go. The I'll Buffalo go fi- Chicken Fillers. There's a Cheesecake Factory around here. I'll vlog it. No, wait. wait I'll there... vlog my first trip to Cheesecake yeah. Factory. Yeah, there's one here. Is... one in Glendale. Oh. I think there's one maybe in Burbank, too. Yeah. No, Glendale has one. This is what the people want to see. It's the three of us going to Cheesecake Factory. I'm going to cut that out just because of future referencing of, I don't know. We've already said we live here. People but know we live here. It's just obnoxious. Keep, keep, I mean, you can keep the Glendale in. Yeah. But, you know, uh, one of my, I, I don't know why, but I think like my favorite moment in the entire Christmas Tree 4 video is when we're walking like in our hazmat suits, the Americana. And then we like stop and point up and it's just the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I've never been to the Yield Spaghetti Factory. I haven't either because I want to go Sounds there. disgusting. I want to go to Spaghetti Factory. You want to go to the Spaghetti Factory, boys? Hold ye up. Old Spaghetti Factory. Let's, go to, let's go to Spaghetti Factory tonight. Wait, is it Ye Old Spaghetti Factory or The Spaghetti Factory? I think it's just, it's The Old Spaghetti Factory. I want to go to the factory. Spaghetti Factory tonight. That's such an unappetizing name. And then like the there's fact, one. They didn't have to put old. It's like, it's not like The Spaghetti Factory. Okay, but it's like The Old Spaghetti The factory. Old Spaghetti. You guys want some spaghetti. old spaghetti? The Old Spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, I work at a spaghetti. Yeah. It ain't that bad of a drive. It's, not even it's an It's outside hour. of LA. It's uh, if you're going towards like Monrovia. Yeah. 
Let's go to the fucking spaghetti factory. Because you pass it when you're driving to Vegas. We should go to the spaghetti. We we should go take let's, a nice little family road trip to the spaghetti go, factory. Let's go to the spaghetti. While Justin's we can here. vlog yeah. going to the spaghetti. Yeah. Factory. Yes. I would love to do that and get some spaghetti. Yes. Spaghetti. You know, like the YouTube poops. Spaghetti. Yep. Mama I hope Luigi. She made lots of spaghetti. Mama Luigi. We gotta put a bunch of those sounds in the in the in the vlogs. I wonder spaghetti. what's for dinner. I already do that in all the videos I edit. <laughs> Alright, what uh, dude, let's just go to the spaghetti factory and fill it with nothing but like 2009 meme. So My like, boy. Ju Justin will sit down and then like uh like troll face him and then like make his mouth move and be like, I wonder what's no, for we'll, dinner. We'll order it. <laughs> They'll be like, hi, what can I get you? And I'll be like, uh, can I have a hamburger? Troll face. They might actually have hamburger. And but I'll say, can I have cheese? Take a look at their menu, actually. <laughs> I want to see what they have. What if it's just a big cauldron of spaghetti and yeah, you just go we, up with your bare hands? That would be fine. Can we get you something on the okay. side? Yeah, I'll take the awesome you sauce. Can make <laughs> we, we could reserve a table whenever we go. The, our our waiter tomorrow night. I, we we went to. I can do it tomorrow night. I'll do it. We went to Bubba Gump's yesterday, and uh, our our waiter. Yes, and our. <laughs> All right, Justin, just for that, you're also going to be holding a fucking plate of spaghetti in the thumbnail. At this point, I already have a massive Sharpie in my ass. I have a clown shoe on my head. Like, Anyways, our waiter said awesome sauce when we gave him one of the plates, and then Ryan refused to tip him. <laughs> I'm just looking at the spaghetti. Does it look like good spaghetti? I've seen pictures, and it looks like, like mom's spaghetti. spaghetti. Sicilian Dude. garlic cheese bread. The, at the old factory eating mom's spaghetti. How about I show up to this for the vlog? I'll show up with vomit all over lasagna. my side. <laughs> what? Layers of noodles, marinara sauce, ground beef, and pork. Oh. And four delicious cheeses. Pork Bruh. lasagna? I don't know if I don't know how I feel about beef, pork, pork sausage. Lasagna. I'd probably get Oh yeah. Oh. Meat lovers treat. Sicilian meatballs, Italian sausage, and spaghetti. Dude, we have to have the meat sauce. The treat. best fucking spaghetti feast ever. We're gonna have a big spaghetti dinner. I love the term spaghetti dinner, like because for so, like people, it's say like what that. a church would, what, what like a church would have, like a, a spaghetti dinner. I, like I the went third to annual church. spaghetti. Dinner. I went to, I went to a few like church. What is it? Potlucks. Yeah. Potluck. Whatever. Like luncheons. Yeah. Luncheons, and every single time there would always be some mom that just brought spaghetti, and that was the only thing I'd eat. That's a weird everything thing else to was bring. disgusting. You know what's right? Like baked, have you ever had baked spaghetti? Yeah, baked, I've had baked Alaska. Is too. Baked spaghetti is delicious. Isn't baked Alaska like a crazy, an absolute piece of shit? Yes, but it's also a food. Okay. Uh, I th I think that uh, we call the video like like three grown men have a spaghetti dinner or like or like <laughs> yep or just something about like having a spaghetti dinner. And then I think also what we should do once COVID's a little bit better is we should have an annual luncheon, super mega luncheon, and it's at like a we just literally just go to a park. And just tell everyone the address, and everyone just brings food, and like we'll, we'll like bring like casserole, and have and just bring a couple tables out, <laughs> and then just tell people to come show up to them to like the luncheon. Okay. What if we're not we even there? Like we're just not even there. We just hire dudes that kind of look like us. <laughs> yeah, just decked out in super mega merch. Hey guys, it's me, Ryan. We should do that next. <laughs> I, bring, I just bring milk and cookies. Milk and cookies <laughs> with the that's that goes great with a spaghetti dinner. Oh, I'm so ex dude. You, you guys, milk goes great with spaghetti. You guys dunk your meatballs in milk. <laughs> I used hey, to. Don't, uh, don't tempt me. When I was a child, and I would eat my chef boyardee spaghetti uh, to signify that I was done to my mom, I would just dump my milk in it. Can we? No, for the Sumega <laughs> luncheon, can we just prepare like pots and pots of chef boyardee? Dude, I used to eat the shit out of their uh, ravioli, like little ravioli yeah, cups as a shit. kid. Oh, I used to make. I don't uh, like Chef Boyardee at all. Spaghettios. Oh, Spaghettios yes. are great. Chef Boyardee. No, no, no. Spaghettios with meatballs. Yes. When I was a kid, I used to make chocolate water, and I used to be like, "Why didn't anyone ever think of this?" Oh, then it's just then it's just it's just, just hot you. chocolate. It's just it was just chocolate syrup mixed around in some fucking purified water. <laughs> so just chocolate milk. Yeah, chocolate water. <laughs> Back and to what Yuhu is. Yuhu isn't made with milk. It's a, it's a chocolate beverage. Yeah, I've noticed so that. It's, it's that's, just that's crazy. We need to have a YouHoo stream soon. What else? What else did I do? Oh, I did a. I would make sandwiches, but only have one piece of bread, and I called it turkey style. Ooh, yeah. yo, y'all get that shit turkey style. <laughs> Justin, did, for the lunch next week, did Justin can make style. Tur you can make a turkey style and just bring a bunch of sandwiches with no top bun. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's a good way to save week? bread. Before Justin leaves, can we have the super mega luncheon? Yeah. Legit. We're gonna like you mean publicly go and open a luncheon? 
we we go to a park like one with picnic tables and we put the like show up for our oh luncheon from God. from noon to I one. would love to do that too. And we bring a lot of chef boyardee and some some uh turkey style sandwiches. We'd be providing food to people. Yeah. We'd be like well, scooping it's it also into BYO, their bowls. BYO, BYO, we, BYOF. We would we would have to get a a, a permit. Yeah. No, you you get a, a permit to have a little get together. Little oh, family get together. That's true. But I and feel if a like, lot of people show up, you know, it's like, officer, we're just having to get together, you know. But also, if the cops show up, it's even better if we want to film it. <laughs> Super megas. Like Keemstar talking about how our, our spaghetti luncheon got shut down by the fucking fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say we have masks are required. <laughs> the spaghetti luncheon. <laughs> Should we call it a spaghetti luncheon? <laughs> Super Mega's first annual spaghetti. Why? <laughs> Why is that so fucking funny? And we'll grill up some spaghetti. <laughs> Super Mega spaghetti luncheon. Dude, we should just bring a grill and just like take cans of Chef Boyardee and just dump it, like, <laughs> and, it and serve that, and just literally serve that. And glasses of like just kind of warm milk. Milk is the no. Beverage. I want to make my fucking chocolate water. Okay. I'll handle the drinks and I'll bring turkey style sandwiches. I'm fully serious, like about this next week. I think this would also make a great video. Turkey style, bro. The spaghetti luncheon. <laughs> Super mega. I'll bring the annual. cigars. You smoking a cigar while having <laughs> spaghetti and milk sounds so fucking disgusting. I'll, I'll, there's some people. There'll be some people smoking cigars with me if they're over the age of 21 and straight. Yeah, dude. Straight with cigars. I mean, Tw not like 20, yeah. 21, 21. You know, like the meme. 21. Like Legit the though. Are you guys like if we start playing today, down to have a, a luncheon next week? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about it. I want to talk about it. What's there to talk about? Because there's an opening for just crazy motherfuckers to show up, and we don't have security like no. We well, do that happened. Well, uh, away. excuse me. Everyone does public things like like grumps and everything. I got, people, I got, it's, it's. I got our security right up. here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see these guns? Yeah. Knife couldn't penetrate that shit. Mm mm. We should test it. Is that sarcasm? You want to try it? <laughs> Justin, you know you're not allowed to bring guns over state borders. Go get a go get a knife. I don't want to bend our, all of our good. Yeah, we're gonna break. Those are expensive knives. Yeah. See, folks, you heard it here first. My muscles are so big that they bend knives. Ryan, you know what we should do? We should just announce. We should just announce it like an hour in advance and where it is, so you know people can't like plan on it. Yeah. And we can just find a big park with picnic tables. Because I like the idea. If I, this actually happens, like we can only, like, three or four people show up. <laughs> can, can, we, can we hire just on Craigslist like a huge ripped bodyguard? Just to <laughs> you could do that. You could totally do that. It's just like some big seven but foot why motherfucker. We have, we, we have an entourage. Well, I mean, Justin's almost. I gotta foot. help. You know, I gotta help fucking His make the food. Have you been working out though? Thick. For real, like your muscles are actually looking pretty good. Not really. Jo oh wow, Justin, that muscle, whatever this is, that's looking. Justin, look at us, man. I got, I got another the uh, trapezius. <laughs> the Sounds like some like that? Greek. <laughs> this is trapezius. <laughs> An like Roman. God, uh, he's the biggest triceps. That's trapezius. Not what, that's not what your trapezius is, dude. Trapezius <laughs> is right here. Is that an actual thing? Your tra yeah, trapezius. The trapezius. I Were no you just idea. making that? That's a real muscle. <laughs> yeah, I just was saying some shit that sounded like. No, that. yeah, that's, that's a muscle this right here. Trapezius. I don't know, know if that's this? actually what it is. What Casey but... Frey does when he flexes and it's like <laughs> up there. It's trapezius. Can trap. I sing for you? <laughs> trap. I love him. He's, He's epic. so funny. He's epic. Spiritual, lyrical, miracle. <laughs> five Casey motherfucking bars, five seconds. Dude, imagine pulling that. <sighs> that would not feel good. What? Trap? Trapezius. Oh, have you ever hurt your trap? Yeah. It hurts really bad. <laughs> you go, <sighs> Oof! Have you guys ever, uh, you guys ever stepped on a Lego? Yes. Yeah, he steps on his dog yeah. all the time. I've Come on, yeah, he beats the it's shit out purpose. of him. Actually, yeah, that's whatever though. Oh, that's what happens when you put your dog down and then doesn't work and keeps coming back. Yeah, you say stay down next time. But well, I mean, you have him tied up right now. Yeah, with the barbed wire. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he doesn't move. Well, you don't want him to escape. No, I love him too much. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did this come from? Look, the so tattoo. Just looks like a cat. Uh, looks like a poorly drawn tattoo. Oh, the, the skull. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a cat scratched me, but it, but it's three. I haven't been around any animals you except know, for re your mother. Pe Fuck, people, people, really. she is coming. People say that's like yeah, she is ghosts that scratch you when you, when that happens. Look at that, like see, on your back. That wasn't there yeah. last night, but that's like I a, get that too. Oh yeah, that's 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 what I tell. Uh, it's a wraith. My girlfriend's no, it's like a gin. Hmm. Love that drink. My girlfriend's like. Oh my, why do you have scratches all over your back? And I'm like, it was a ghost. <laughs> we 
when really it's just because I've been cheating on her and having sex with other women that are scratching my back. Well, can I don't I don't understand why people get so pissed when dudes cheat. It's just in our nature. It Am is I our right? Nature. And Come maybe on. if the girls don't want to get cheated on, maybe they should be a little more better for they their game. They should king. smile. I'm not. <laughs> that's <laughs> stupid. I fucking hate people that Come say on, that pussy shit. Cat. Hey, My mom. You'd look so much prettier if you just smile more. You know, you'd. You you'd look a little pretty if you just smile. See, I on, fucking smile. hate my mom like that. says that uh, like men her age say that all the time still like to her like like men will say to my mom like come on smile more you, you know you look real pretty with a smile on that face disgusting and like there is like what I'm just trying to make her smile trying to make her day <laughs> trying I know to make they don't day by putting you down and yeah sexist they they nature. don't understand that they're like just objectifying like hey you are supposed to smile at all times for me. That's yeah, not weird. Where's me, my like, hug? That entitlement. Would feel like walking out of like a place and all of a sudden like some like big old Southern just, hey buddy, you should smile more. I'd be scared. I'd be like, what the okay. fuck? Okay, you should smile. <laughs> but, but really, he's actually just a dentist and like trying to like, you know, promote dental hygiene. And he's business. like, you have re- you have a really good line. Can I take pictures? You have, like, can, please wanna, smile more. I want to ask a question. Out of these three microphones, which ones have you farted on? This one is that, that I'm using def- right now is yeah, by definitely. far the worst. Like this, I don't know if I've ever farted in, in that mic. This one actually has probably like well, you've like pressed your asshole pretty much yes. against this and farted. This one maybe because I have sat here sometimes and odds of me farting in those boxes. I'd say you've done it on all of them probably once. I'd say it's a safe bet. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> That's the one that I use every week, Justin, that you're using. So it's pretty clean. Uh besides um Maybe a little bit of spit, a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of blood when you cough. Mm-hmm. Nah, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to just stay a little further away from now on. Well, don't do that. You had fist, fist away from your mouth, mm-hmm. as Joe Rogan says. Like that. Like this? Yeah, nope. people love yeah. it when it's close to your mouth. See, I was hey, going to do the same thing as you guys, but I'm not putting my clear. lips that fucking close to your microphone. Come on, put your lips super close to the microphone. Welcome back to 93.1 Super Mega FM. You're listening to the 90, Super Mega Podcast. 93.1 is a station in LA. Is it? Oh. Well, 93.1 is a station everywhere, isn't it? Helicopter shadow just went over. That was cool. You're Did listening. The helicopter? I saw the shadow. Thanos copter? <laughs> <laughs> Raffle copter? <laughs> Dude, hey, I'm going to wear- you, uh, Can you pass the Hennessy real quick? Yeah. I, should, Thank you. should we all wear matching meme shirts to the spaghetti factory? Can uh, we get troll face? Oh, no, I, I want copter shirts. I want. Wait, no. We should all. We should each have like. I'll have troll face. You can have bad luck, Brian, and then Ryan can have Eat spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, doesn't like sp- spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. And then and then Ryan can have uh, Ryan can have the goosebumps girl, but it's like Irma Gerd spagerder. <laughs> Dude, I forgot about that meme. Irma Gerd. Irma Gerd. Spagerter. I'm in my mom's car. Okay, get if, out I, my car. if I get us some shirts made today, would, can we wear them to the dinner tomorrow? Which shirts? Uh, if if I get make us some meme shirts for to wear to the spaghetti. Would you gym? be able to get them in time? Yeah. How? I can make them myself. Okay. Go to Walmart and you get the transfer paper. Okay. So I'll do it. Yeah. I'll bad luck, it. Brian, is a good one where it's like, uh, I like eats dinner, isn't spaghetti. <laughs> I then, love I love that idea. And then Ryan, you can have the Irma Gerd spaghetti, <laughs> and I'll, photo, I'll Photoshop instead of Goosebumps books just a big plate of spaghetti. <laughs> okay. And we can wear them to the the spaghetti luncheon too. And then Justin, you can have uh, something with problem on it, so you'd be like, uh, fuck, e- eating spaghetti problem. <laughs> <laughs> like, like one does not simply eat yeah, too I, much wait, can, Okay, wait. Fuck. Wait. I don't know if I want a troll face or if I want one does not simply. One does not one simply. One does not simply is like my one of my that's like my favorite old school meme ever is like one does not simply it's just eat one meme. plate of spaghetti. One does not simply eat spaghetti. But if you love one does not simply not eat spaghetti. No, it's gotta be one does not simply eat spaghetti you eat because like, like you gotta like a you gotta like you can't simply eat, spaghetti, eat spaghetti. You know, like you but have one to does not eat simply spaghetti. eat spaghetti makes it sound like 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 you don't eat spaghetti. No, because you can't eat spaghetti. No, it, means simply. It, puts, it puts it on a higher plane. So yeah. like one does not simply. You can't eat, eat this spaghetti. simple like a fucking you burger. Must devour There's like an must, art to it. Yeah. There's an art. Okay, when so you, you spin that fork. Context. Yeah, dude, I just thought of something so cool we can probably get made. Your mom naked on a poster. I don't need to get that made. I got it at home already. <laughs> gotcha, hey. bitch. Makes two of us. Bitch, bitch. Imagine a you're fork. a bitch, bitch. Um, imagine a <laughs> spaghetti fork, a super mega. Sorry, brain. I don't speak. Bitch, a spaghetti bitch. fork. That's met. That's that's a. 
don't zip it. A spaghetti fork that it, it's like a bitch. You know what's some add something else to the thumbnail for that mustache. You have a mustache. Whatever you say. I already have a mustache. Like. <laughs> oh, you call that thing a mustache, Justin? Yeah. I thought wonderful. you just had a little bit of shit over your mouth from eating some ass. It's more than what you got, bro. <gasps> Dude. Ding ding. Come on, <laughs> man. Like you can't fucking come at me like that. Matt's mouth is a gape. Matt doesn't know what to do. Oh, he closed it just now. Chomped it shut. Swallowed His neck a fly. is. He tried to talk over the commentator. Yeah. Don't do that. But a spaghetti fork that it's like, it's like a as seen on TV type thing where the fork is like this is like a mechanical. Do you press fork. a button and goes. You click it and it just spins. Yeah, the <laughs> Robo fork. I've seen something like that before. I swear to God. I've seen a I've Parkinson's seen like, fork that like is a stabilizer. So the guy's like. Oh, that's fucking. And it's cool. like stabilizing the fork. That's which is cool. sick. He's eating soup. A, with a gyroscope it. fork. Mm-hmm. Or That's it was a spoon. So cool. He's eating soup with it. You know? Dude, I, I, I'm actually like ex so excited to get the spaghetti dinner. Oh, yeah. For the spaghetti dinner. I am too. Tomorrow I'm going to drown my noodles in meat sauce this, with Parmesan cheese. I like a little this spaghetti This whole video was planned sauce. on a podcast. It was. So like when we came into this room, this was not spoken about at all. Neither no. was the super mega happened. luncheon. The super mega luncheon. That's First right. First annual super mega spaghetti but, luncheon. But okay, if we're actually going to do that, for real, I really want to get a huge ripped motherfucker to play a bodyguard. He's not gonna play a bodyguard. Well, like, actually, like, because I know yeah, you can. can. I know that's a thing that you can get. Could we get an open carry guy though? So he has an AR. <laughs> <laughs> Cops show up. There's He's, like a bunch of fucking like I, I twenty fucking, year old kids eating spaghetti and dude, a guy with an AR fifteen. I I fucking hate people that like go to Walmart and they have their fucking pistol on their hip and they're just like a little too proud about it. Well, like, yeah, it's it's almost like it's like they're like. Okay, carrying like a gun for protection. Okay, They're but it's John like Wick. when you do that, it's like, yeah, I have a gun and I could shoot you. Yeah, I could shoot you. And I think it's like a Don't pride test masculinity me. thing. Don't test me. Hey, if you fuck with me, I ha I can shoot you if I wanted. You know who brought a gun into life. a Walmart? Who? Your dad. The baby. Uh -huh. Did he? And, he? and he shot someone in the face and killed them. When? A while back. Ago. It was self defense. Jesus. But, but he did. Sh Actually, the Walmart was right next to the Hooters we went to in North Carolina, and I wish we had gone and to the same it wasn't aisle. Wasn't the Walmart we went to? It wasn't. We went but to a different Walmart. We could have gone and vlogged in the same aisle so, where the baby killed him. So the baby has killed someone before. Multiple people, I'm assuming. Let's go. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg has. He killed did somebody. kill someone one time. Yep. I'm sure a lot of rappers have killed people. Uh, Slim Shady. Yeah. No. Well, not yeah, Eminem. On Slim the, Shady. On the. Uh, on the open mic night, am I oh. right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because he killed him Ooh. Yeah, he did. with his words, with his facts. I don't and think logic. Eminem's ever killed anybody. <laughs> of course not. What other rapper? His hands are too small. It, the rappers that like Little aren't baby like, yeah. hasn't killed anyone. Little fucking hasn't bitch. murdered an innocent I killed, person. I killed three people today, just on the way over here. Well, we actually do need to talk about that after the podcast because I've been trying. We've kind of been trying. Got to go to driving school, buddy. Yeah. Well, it also seemed a little bit intentional. And also your lack of remorse is weird, but uh, good. it was a good hit and run. Well, I mean, I try. It was a good hit and run. Um, good style. If it was, if they were in the Olympics, yeah, you know, it's, they it's would like have gotten, a, like, that would have been like probably some It's the old, it's the old flick of the wrist. Air. It's the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. You're on the, you're on the side of the road, you go, whoop, just real quick. And I'm sure, I didn't check, but I'm sure they got up right afterwards and were fine. Oh, well, he I, said he killed three people. Yeah, I, I checked. No, I just, he like, well, he like killed thinking. them like, oh yeah, like I killed that. Like just, not like, yeah. No, like I actually just fucking killed three people on the way over here. Like well, they're, they're fucking dead. Hmm. Are you going to buff out those ad those, reads? Those <laughs> <laughs> so many Americans experienced financial hardship in the last year. Were you one of those losers? Upstart is here to help you regain your footing and get things back on track. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. Upstart knows you're more than just your credit score and is expanding access to affordable credit. And unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and current employment to find you a smarter rate for your loan. With a five minute online rate check, you could see your rate upfront for loans between 1,000 to 50,000 big smackaroons. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. I like Upstart because, uh, you know, you got all these different bills to pay and they're coming in left and right. Uh, and you, you don't, you know, it's like, oh, I don't want to miss one or it's stressful having them all over the place. But Upstart can actually help you, you know, just put it all into one monthly payment 
that is, you know, even 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 better than just having to go all around and do all these different ones. And you'll get a, you'll get a smarter rate because they don't just look at your credit score. They look at the real you. And that's why I like using Upstart. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash supermega. That's upstart.com slash supermega. Don't forget to use our exclusive URL to let those boys at Upstart know that your boys at Supermega sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash supermega. This episode of the Super Mega Cast is sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, quit your crying. And I know a way you can actually quit your crying. It's with it's with BetterHelp. Do you know what it is? No. Good. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed therapist. Professional therapist, might I add. It'll connect you with a very convenient, safe, and private online environment. You can start communicating with these licensed professionals in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. Send a message to your counselor anytime. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. Also, BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. The service is available for clients worldwide. BetterHelp offers licensed professional counselors who are special in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBT matters, grief, self-esteem. Anything you share is confidential, it's convenient, plus they keep it professional and affordable. Check out the testimonials posted daily on their site. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. I use BetterHelp uh, when my mom refused to send me her world famous mac and cheese, um, it put me in a slump. That was rough for you. But I was able to get out of it thanks to better help. And I want you to start living a happier life as well. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash supermega. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash supermega. Justin, are you going to buff out those dents? Why would I? Because, I mean, that's... Well, I'm new, just going to go hit more people. That's the electric so like, Porsche, man. That's brand new, and that thing is... But why would I bother there's I'm just going to hit more people? I'm just going to hit more people, so why bother buffing this shit out? Because it's just a waste of time. It's just going to happen again. Logic. That is a good point. Yeah. That's actually... Plus, it adds character. It does. Do you like Logic? The rapper? Yeah. No. I like the program, you? the software. Do, do I you? like Logic? Yeah. I don't even think I've ever listened to a full Logic Here, song. We'll do it right I haven't now. either. Okay. We're going to listen to Logic right now. We're going to listen to his most popular song. I am. Um, Bobby Tarantino. I love his movies. Dude, the uh, <laughs> fucking. Th this, this weekend, my friend. Uh, oh, we're going to take a break real quick so oh we can listen God, to. We're not listening to a Logic, Logic track. <laughs> no. Turn it off. Turn, turn, it, turn it off, off turn now. It off. <laughs> turn it off we're gonna now. We're going to get demonetized. Ryan, you're going to have to pitch That's that. That's why whole I said there was a break. Down. This is, this is the oh, aftermath. This is the aftermath oh, okay. it caused. Well, um, bickering. Yeah, that shit was ass. Not gonna lie, that See, shit fucking well, Khalid sucks. Khalid was on it too. Yeah, it fucking sucks. Well, you don't that, like your mom? No, I have nothing wrong with Khalid. I have nothing wrong with him. Khalid what, what, never did nothing to me. It was that stupid fucking bitch, Ellen. <sighs> Justin, that sounded a little pointed towards women. It wasn't pointed towards women. It was pointed it was, at Ellen. Yeah, because everyone hates Ellen. But not Ellen, Dory, though. right? Are you saying Ellen's not a woman? Not Dory. No, Ellen's a woman. Me, she's a she's just a, a horrible woman that mistreats her employees. Yeah. But Dory is so a I fun think, little fish. Yeah, Dory's fine. I okay. like Dory. She okay. never hurt nobody. Okay. Her okay. fucking okay. second movie sucks. Yeah. Well, it's no, I guess her first movie. Do you guys, the yeah. sequel to Finding Nemo is fucking garbage. Oh, I haven't seen it. But it's Logic, I love Logic. Do you? Do you want to listen to another? No, one? no, no. I love the software logic. That's what I make music with. And this weekend, my friend Caroline Loveglow came over and we stayed up all night because she taught me. She was teaching me how to mix and produce. It's so much fun. It's the most fun I've had in like years. Justin, I was going to teach you how to use logic and she taught me so much that now it's like. I don't have a fucking Apple computer, bro. <laughs> what, do you live in the Stone Age? I got the laptop you guys bought for me three years ago that is. Falling apart. <laughs> is it a fall really nice laptop? Is though. it is it falling apart? I have I have exported so many videos on that fucking laptop. I used to use it so much that like it doesn't hold a charge anymore with the battery. Oh yeah, like, really? The, the cable like fucking sucks. Is it time for Justin's new laptop? I do need a new laptop. Yes. We'll we'll ask people to donate money at the luncheon for Justin's new. <laughs> please, laptop. a little please a little don't golden, donate golden money so I can afford a. I want to get a MacBook Pro. Because yeah. if you if you get a MacBook Pro, then I can teach you Logic. Yes. Logic is awesome. It's my yes. favorite DAW. 
That's well, yeah. What's your favorite doll, Ryan? Fruity Loops. Yeah. Hey, Amen. <sighs> Good answer. Francisco Javier Contreras would be pleased. Yeah. Avicii yeah. uses Fruity Loops. Did you know that? Tyler uses logic, and Billie Eilish uses logic. Tyler? You mean Phineas? Phineas uses logic, right? The guy from the Markiplier. Did you know videos? that Phineas did Ray and Me? <laughs> like he produced Ray and Me, apparently. Ray and Me. The the is that is that how you pronounce her name? This hold up. Raytheon. <laughs> That's the name of our album. Super Mega Albums just Raytheon. Her? Oh yeah, he's a good he's a good producer. I had no idea. But yeah, Logic. I've so like I've I've always I've been making music, but like I the thing that's always stopped me from releasing is I don't know how to like mix and shit. Ray, but, but but Caroline Love Glow, fantastic artist. She she came over and we haven't said, heard of her. Well, she's pretty small, so. <laughs> um, In size? Very small. She's Are they like, like eight feet three, tall? Three, seven. Three, seven? Yeah. Woo. But she's cool. She taught me, she's been teaching me how to mix and produce, and it's been really, really fun. And I've been very hyped. So, that this is good news for the Super Mega album. Is she going to produce it? No, but she can help. She taught me, like, so many, like, I got all these plugins, and, like, I've I've been really learning how to, like, really mix the music, and it's like, and I learned how to master through a really Bait. cool... <laughs> Yeah, I did, man. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I did. Put it there, man. Come here. There you go. Justin? I like doing, like, Justin, give me a high five, but, like, I don't make any effort to get closer, so I'm, like, I got six my feet. Fo- I got my foot right here. Boom. Yeah, nice Converse's, go. brother. Thank you, brother. Those Brand new. new. They look nice. Day before I came out here. I would have, uh... These are my lag shoes. I would have bought That's got to be cubic zirconium. That, there's no way that's all diamond. No, that's diamond. Gold-plated, diamond-encrusted... Platinum souls. Good God, guys! It's go, beautiful too. You, you want to see some some diamond? Oh, woo! Get you in the eyes. <sighs> that ain't Blinded diamond. Me. That's quartz. <laughs> I used to collect that in grade school. I did quartz. Just the all rocks. Anytime, rocks. anytime, go like, to the rock store. Yeah, buy anytime some you rocks. go to a rock store, I get like a piece of fucking quartz. And or they like, have. It's the, like a crystal diamond. <laughs> Remember the like, uh, like the rock stores that have the tumbled rocks? So it's like the like purple and green and blue with the rocks that are really really smooth and shiny because they like put them through a tumbler. This is what the chaos emeralds would look like in real life. The chaos so my emeralds. My kid brain would be like. It sounds like a Reddit thing. If the chaos emeralds were real, I was always like. They, they had, like, little toy Chaos Emerald things, but it's, like, they didn't have weight to them. Dude, the Chaos Emeralds are so fucking sick. Because they're plastic. Did you guys know that I love Sonic? You do love Did Sonic. Did you guys know that? Okay, Chris Chan. Have I ever mentioned... Don't say that fucking name when I'm talking about Sonic. Sorry. Yeah, it's Sonic Chew. It's yeah. a completely different animal. Yes. Justin. So we want to play... While you're here, we're going to do the the... The dark saga right or the dark maybe i don't know is With it po- shadow wait is it Rouge, possible to to and Dr. download a mod for that where we play as sonic two instead it might be cool it might be we gotta play more modded games on the channel moving forward with let's plays i'd like to do more like zany shit can we go into gta role play servers Yes, we got to do more. Remember that the only time we but ever did like anything like that was actually like commit to the role play. But you know, remember uh, mischief Red Dead when we did the Christmas one. Yep, like that's one of my favorite videos because, because we online were, pe- people we were hanging out around. with people. Yeah, it was really we we were dragging were people funny. from horses and shit. We took that guy up to a cabin and killed him. <laughs> yeah, but- like made him walk in the snow and like. Those guys were and fun. shot him in the back of the head. Well, he kept shooting. Or someone that was kept a fun ass. Around. That was we got to do more online shit. I think we're nervous because we're like, what if it's not funny? But like, I think that we can do some really funny online role playing videos, especially Second Life. I would like to do some Second Life videos. thieves. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's fun. You better get Foolish Kia on for that then. Otherwise, she's going to scream about it. They what foolish the fuck? They don't call her Foolish Captain Kia for nothing. Mm-hmm. She's a Foolish Captain. You didn't invite me on to play fucking Sea of Thieves. Oh, fight me then, you motherfucking bitch. Yeah, put him up. Put him up. Put him up. Piece of shit. <laughs> Sounds really good. <laughs> Come on, guys. I don't see why the I've Confederate had a lot of flag's fucking a problem. <laughs> I'm actually a pirate ship with the Confederate flag. That, that's Kelly's. She calls it the Dark Barnacle. <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> she ruined it herself by calling it the Dark Barnacle. I just don't think the critical race theory should be taught in school. <laughs> I don't think it should be mandatory. Wow, nice. You guys are doing my fucking voice on the podcast. Real mature. Man. Now everyone's gonna think I'm a big fucking meme. Is that all I am to you is a fucking meme? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. 
<laughs> nice fake out. She's 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 like almost. It's like French, but worse. French Canadian. Well, yeah, well, I Which, just that's even it. worse than because because you get the it's just so much racism in one small tiny fucking person. Exactly. There's so much anger. So much nationalism. You yeah. Know? She fucking loves that. The French people. Yeah, she fucking loves that part of Canada. She has a statue Frogs. of French people in her house. Yep. Every French person in one statue. Yes. Yep. And it's just a very short person that's she, really ugly. She... <laughs> <laughs> With a huge bush of armpit hair, and it's a woman, too. And you can actually smell the statue. It smells so bad. <laughs> There's fucking like an there's little there's little too. fucking like air holes in the pits. It releases an odor every hour. <laughs> yeah. It's like a cuckoo clock. She buys American flags like to once burn. a week. She burns one every day of the week. That's like the first thing she does in the That's morning. That's fucked up. You don't oh, burn the say flag. can you see? Can you believe they said that it was a form of protest in that in that case? To burn the flag? Yeah. It's a for, it's 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 a form of protest. It is legally a form of protest. Is it illegal to burn the flag? It used to be. It's legal, right? Now it is because it's a. You guys want to go burn some American be. flags? We'll we'll do a flag burning at the luncheon. <laughs> <laughs> like, like guys, we have a surprise event. We should get a huge American flag for it, though. Justin accidentally puts it on upside down. Oops! <laughs> All right, guys, what are the odds for the luncheon? We are flying a huge Confederate flag. That's how people know it's super megas. They're like, ah, there's other. Lo- oh, that's the. What yeah. if we made? And we all have to wear no, no, no. shirts. No, we can make Sherman hats. We could make. A version of the super mega logo that is fused with the Confederate flag. <laughs> well, I'm really excited for this. Okay, so so you're gonna do the Confederate? No, flag. not no, not. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> excited for the Confederate flag. I was about to thing. say, well, I well, think he would be. Ex- no one is dead. In protest of them t- tearing down like all those statues, some, yeah. we should try to. We should make get models made of the statues and put them. We up should the make park. a big statue of Markiplier and then just pull it down at the end of the day. Markiplier, my favorite Confederate. Uh, <laughs> Monument. Let's get let's get an statue. actual like fucking marble statue carved of him like with some stupid like fucking sword. It'd be like an Easter Island head, dude. An dude. Easter Island head of Mark. He kind of looks like that already because his face is so chiseled. His, his and his neck. His dude. neck is so fucking huge. His it's neck is massive, large. dude. It's like the shaft of a massive hard cock. <laughs> Mark going to the gym, be like, oh, it's neck day. <laughs> dude, he, he just lays down, puts a weight on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Hey, yeah, so uh, you want to do what? Biceps and legs? Neck. <laughs> Always neck. neck Only neck. neck. Chugs a gallon of milk and it's, starts. It's, it's like a. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Neck. It's like an enemy in Gears of War. Neck. Neck. <laughs> neck. neck. And then he's necking. Sma- then he smashes. You necking? How about neck Wolfhard? And it's That's Nick just, Wolfhard, but his neck is just necking sucking long. dick. Is necking? Isn't necking it? is not sucking I it was dick. Just it's making out. Yeah. That's necking? Yeah. Necking is making out, yeah. Oh. Well, I, I wouldn't know much about that. Why? Neck wouldn't. He- head is some dick, you know? Yeah. Oh. I'm getting some top, head. Yeah. Some dome. Some dome. Sloppy top. Head, brain, top. Come on, there's some more. Uh, Low I, job. BJ. We don't say BJ enough. Dude, I got a BJ last night. <laughs> That's such like a middle school word. Like, dude, dude, imagine. HJs or BJs? Dude, I got an HJ and a BJ last. <laughs> HJ. Dude, Samantha gave me an HJ under the lunch table. It's my sister. It's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you She gives crazy HJs. You would know. Dude, that's your sister. Yeah, of course I would know. <laughs> the fuck? Well, sister. you are from the South. Mm-hmm. I noticed something. I was watching some trash TV, and Southern people are just like, abnormally more ugly Jesus Christ other people I think they're the most beautiful specimens on this planet Matthew thank you Ryan I'm just kidding the southern people aren't ugly but well, well I got some cousins did you just pull a prank you to the, all southern people yeah prank them all you went you're ugly pranked you you're <laughs> gotcha kind of, you're, you're kind of ugly though no there's some beautiful my dad has always wanted me to marry like a southern belle <laughs> he's, like, he's like, son, well, one day you're going to come back to South Carolina. You're going to marry a, a Christian Southern girl. I'm like, no, I'm not. Horseback rider. <laughs> horse face. Horse Christian girl. girl. Dude, I would love to marry you a horse girl. showed me that video the other fuck, uh, last night. Yeah. There's Have this you seen video. That of, video? Uh, oh, explain it, Justin. You want, me to, you want me to just get his live reaction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah. okay. I'm not even going to tell him what it is. Anyways. Make sure the title's away. 
Yeah. It has to do with horses. Go yeah. ahead and uh and I've seen Mr. Hand, so it's you're gonna do a live com commentary on this. You guys go ahead and fill the fill the void while I get it all set up. Fill the void of with speech. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah. How about you? I had a great weekend. So we I, had a little bit of a long weekend. We took Friday off and Monday off. Yep. Because we've just been working so hard. Yeah, we we, we needed times uh, time to fan ourselves and to rest our feet. Mm -hmm. Well, we got to prep up for the spaghetti luncheon. Oh, I'm so I'm actually excited for <laughs> Me that. Me too. We should give All away right. prizes. We, right, dude, good. that's a great way to get rid of merch. We can sell merch there. Oh, true. You know, because we have so much extra. Or we can just give it away for free. Psych! All right, Matt. Yeah. Go ahead and just uh, press play. Watch this. Don't tap the screen because I want you to see the title. Is it okay if it's... Like yeah, that? that's how it's supposed to be. Big ass phone. Oh, he's wild. He's excited, ain't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. What do you notice? He's got a huge erection. Yeah. Horse has a... Oh, he's horny. You gotta commentate for the audience. What's All right, going it's a on? horse and he's bucking and he's got a big... Oh. Justin just came on screen. <laughs> <laughs> fucking put that in the fucking podcast. <laughs> Beep that. <laughs> okay, just another came horse screen. Another horse. Another another horse came in and kicked it in the face and knocked it out. Oh man, it didn't get knocked out. It killed it. What? Yeah. Yes. You just show me a video of a horse dying. <laughs> well, you ate one. It's dead. It's dead and it shit itself. Shit. Well, the at least he died with a boner. Can you believe that shit? That's how strong. For, also, apparently, Justin was telling me it's because the people had it tied. Yeah, so You're I guess to just let him do his fucking thing. Yeah, I I'm no horse breeding expert, but when I saw this video on Reddit, eh? Yeah, uh, it, there were just people in the comments were like, "Your horse, my feeding tube." Yep. <laughs> Good, right? It's a good, it's a, was, yeah. That was that was that was great. You no, you're, you're supposed to like you're supposed yeah. to not have the leash on right so that uh he jumps up and he gets kicked in the chest, not in the head. So it was actually the people basically killed him. Wow. That's so rest that's a that's powerful a kick. That's why whenever I see a horse kick someone horses in the video, I'm just like Jesus. he just wanted some pussy. I'm really scared of things like bulls, horses. He was so close. He was so close to that pussy. But he died, you know, at least he died like ready. Like he's like I know he didn't know good. what the fuck happened. He was just like, oh, I'm about to fuck. I'm about to fuck. Yeah, they're Dead. just black. Yep. He shit himself instantly. You can hear his- Oh, does he shit himself? You can hear himself emptying himself out. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. Remember horse, when you were a kid and was like, oh, you yourself when you died. Some people do. Not everybody. What? Some people- I poop. didn't. Some people poop themselves when they die. Yeah. I think everyone poops themselves when they die. <laughs> Did fucking remember that South Park episode with that? Not everyone, Justin. Some people are stronger than- No, not everyone people. poops themselves some, when they die. Some people's- Buttholes are just stronger. So much tighter. The saddest people shit the loudest. You know, because be, it's 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 because you didn't shove a sharpie up your ass, is you're not gonna shit yourself. But because we so loop because we loosened our assholes up with with sharpies and pens and and styluses. Well, I might shit out my dick. I got the tightest asshole this side of the Mississippi. Give me that pussy boy. Give me that boy pussy. Let me see that pussy boy. Give me that pussy boy. Pussy got tight, boy! Got a tight little man pussy Jim. on you, don't you? <laughs> oh, boy, give me that pussy! Pussy boy, let me pussy. get the pussy! I want that is pussy that, boy! Is that Mickey Mouse? Is that Mickey, is that Mickey Mouse oh, trying to get some pussy? pussy? <laughs> I need some pussy. That's just Kelly. Yeah. I need some fucking pussy. Oh, oh, hey, need some pussy. Hey, why don't you bring a little pussy over here, pussy boy? Oh, where are the bitches at? Oh, I need some pussy. Yeah, she looking thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Dude, I love that video. Like, you should smile more. Justin, have you ever seen that bowl of oatmeal video? Bowl of oatmeal? It's like, oh, yeah, it was in, like, in court where like the girl, he was like, you look, quote, <laughs> thicker girl, than a, you thicker than a bowl, bowl of, of oatmeal. oatmeal. And then he goes, <laughs> it's such a good video. Well, I mean, like, uh, some people make oatmeal real thin and watery. I like it thick. Uh, me too. Like, I like, oh, I like thick. Yeah, I like thick. thick too, buddy. <laughs> you know, like uh, fucking, you know Come. what I really like? Oh, have you, have you had a uh, cream Dude, of wheat? What? Cream of ski? Cream of wheat? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dude, I fucking love cream of ski. Cream of bro. dream? How much could dream semen be sold for? Like a little vial of dreams cream. Of dream. dream like, realistically, dream like, 
probably it'd probably like get up there into like hundreds of thousands of dollars and then wouldn't sell on eBay because like the person mm. that bid would. Just well, also yeah, because everyone that's it. so obsessed with him is is twelve years old, so they don't have. Yeah, they don't got of any dollars. fucking well, money. Price goes down because he's not fertile. You want to hear something funny? I heard this week. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, he's a fucking like horse that you're trying to get no, he's, bred, he's, dude. You know what, Justin? Some men can't reproduce, and that's nothing to be ashamed no, of. I unless thought it was dream, funny how Ryan it's funny. said it. I just thought it was funny how Ryan said it. Um, were you about to fucking rant about? I was talking to somebody earlier. Uh, over oh, the that's weekend. interesting. You talked to someone. I was talking to this girl. And oh no, oh, not like ooh. that. Matt knows girls apparently, ooh, ooh. allegedly. A bunch of them. Where's yeah, I'm sitting next where, to two of them. Where's where she from? Where's she from? Take it she goes to another high school. Yeah, but I'm talking to this girl, and uh, ooh, yeah, it was the first time we had met. Oh, Whoa. right. Did you kiss her? Nah. Did she kiss you? Yeah. What was her name? I actually don't know. <laughs> what? It wasn't like a friend. It was like just a girl that I was talking to that I just met. Ooh. And but 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 she knew about Super Mega, but only like as of recently. And a groupie. Mm-hmm. And what she said was <laughs> she was like, I didn't know who Super Mega was, but like I watched a lot of YouTube, but I'd never heard of you guys. And I said, Thanks, bitch. And then uh what she told me, how she found out was this. She's like, I've been talking to a sugar daddy. And we're talking He loves about, Super Mega. We're talking about YouTube. And he's like Talking about like asking me what kind of what YouTube channels I watch. And he's like, the sugar daddy goes, You ever watch Super Mega? And she's like, What's Super Mega? And the sugar daddy goes, You don't know about Super Mega? <laughs> There's sugar daddies that watch our shit. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh-huh. I just thought that was funny. I'd share that. Dude. I need me a sugar. And, sh- and sugar babies apparently watch our shit too. I need me mm-hmm. a sugar mama. Justin, we can easily get Justin would be so cute for a sugar mama. You know how many sugar mamas out there would just fucking just eat you eat up. you up like a little oatmeal raisin? Yeah, cookie? I need a sugar mama, and then I, she can buy me a, a a Porsche. She just she can suffocate you with love in her bosom, big old. But you need a big old sugar mama, lots of sugar in that pot, and she got the big bosom, and you can just basically get in between it and like sleep there. And you go, and you know what? She can't get pregnant because she's older. So you can That's true You can nut in that sugar pot She'll make you a bowl <laughs> Don't call it a sugar pot dude The sugar pot It's the honey pot I got some I got some cream oh. For your cookie jar baby <laughs> Justin She might let you have A little cookie Out of the cookie jar From the hey, top of the sugar fridge Hey sugar mamas dinner. You know where to find me You know I ran away When I was a kid Cleveland. For like I bet Jacksonville <laughs> Justin ju- Justin I Do you think in one weekend We could get Justin Laid with an elderly woman In Cleveland, Ohio Yeah Yeah Would you do it for a video? Would I get laid for a vlog with f- an elderly? Like how old? Uh, okay, not elderly, but I would say at least sixty-five. Sixty-five to seventy-five. Pussy's some six, pussy. some women that age look fantastic. Pussy's pussy. Your mom? Woo. Pussy is pussy. For Am I right, boy? Old woman? Yeah, she does look. Pretty she good looks for amazing. Mm-hmm. So how about that coronavirus? Dude, that shit sucks. Dude. Okay, this is a bit of a hot Low take. Low key, we're in a yeah. pandemic this, right this, now. This is a bit of a hot take, but this coronavirus shit is fucking stupid. Dude, it's it's like on God. No I know, cap. I can't this wait till sucks. lockdown's over because everyone's saying that we have to just stay inside for like two weeks. Yeah. Two and a half weeks. I don't think it's going to like, I don't think it's going to last till next year. No, no way. No, no. No, I no think, way it's going to last till next year. Honestly, I, I, I think by summer everything will We'll get it under control. Yeah, yeah, if we just like, just stay inside for two weeks, it's done. The, yeah, the sun will weeks. kill it. The sun will kill the virus if yeah. we all stay inside. It, honestly? I've heard promising like, stuff with bleach, too. What? what well, didn't didn't Mr. President say that you were supposed to drink something? What was it? Yeah, you can drink hydro or inject it. Something? Well, that's that's not bleach. That's hydroxychloroquine. Yeah. Uh which all you gotta do basically, if you ever had tonic water, just drink some tonic water. COVID's gone. Yeah, I know this guy from Mongolia who told me that the, they don't want you to know the cure for COVID, but it's it's hot water with uh, lemon, honey, and then some ibuprofen. And I was like, okay, that sounds did you delicious. Do it? Yeah, I did. And I have I gotten COVID yet? Nope. Yep. Sounds delicious. <sighs> I'm just glad we all decided as a business not to get vaccinated. Well, we, we, we Justin wanted to for some reason. We said, "Well, you're fired if you get that." I did it anyways, and I'm still here. So, what? Yeah, you signed a contract. You got vaccinated. You. There was no there was a verbal contract. You just asked me over the phone. That still like, counts. Yeah, as your employer, a verbal contract. Our accountant, our lawyer, they were all on the phone. We we're taking a transcript of the Justin, conversation. No, you didn't. You are. You were yeah. smoking weed on your patio. I no, was smoking weed. They were doing the work. Justin, I was transcribing everything. 
Like one you of those weren't old on the call. Room. No, you guys are trying to be all big, scary businessmen. Well, uh, we're not the scary ones. You are because you have that fucking vaccine inside of you. How's it feel to have Bill Gates come inside of you, Justin? <laughs> it's delicious. I can't get enough. I bet you got it twice. You loved it so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, how'd you know? I, I actually got the shot like eight times. Hey, Justin, because I, I, I cancer feel. Dude, that's fucked. That's fucked up. That you make a joke about that. Anyways, I got the shot like eight times, cause like, I just wanted to be extra safe. So I got, I got Pfizer, so that's eight Moderna. Eight of contract. Yeah, I got Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, uh, Johnson Johnson. I got some other shit. This dude behind the Walgreens gave me. He said it was, it would, it would, uh, it would take care of me. So I took like, like a booster. Three of those. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Justin, this is really crossing the line. What do you mean? Jackson, well, Jackson, of course, didn't get back. Well, no one else did. Layton didn't. Jackson didn't. Don didn't. Um, we, because we, we f forbade all of them from doing that. So the fact that you Kelly against, didn't in solidarity. Yeah, she doesn't work for us, but like you know, she's she's a part of the movement at least. Kelly's part of the anti-vax movement. <laughs> could you imagine? Yeah, I, could. I don't have to imagine. She's French, dude. <laughs> The only vaccine. You're really gonna put hey. that in your fucking body? You know what? <laughs> you know there's metals in there. I I think that the uh, French need a vaccine They're against arrogance. Earthquake. Oh no! Shaking the table, dude. Pranked you. I've Pranked never felt earthquake. I've never. But it's real this, this time. This table is not sturdy enough for you to be doing that. I've never felt an earthquake, and I've been here so many fucking times. I know. I haven't felt one in a bit, in a hot minute. Uh, yeah, same. Last one I felt was the one that you year. and I called each other. We were like, dude, did you feel that? It's been over a year. Been Any, over anytime year? anytime so. people that are like, anytime I, I talk to anyone that's like, I guess, middle-aged or something, like someone that my parents know or something, they're always like, oh yeah, California. Yeah, that place is on fire right now. You sure you want to go out there? Well, it's it like, is on what fire. What the fuck are you talking sometimes. about? But they're, when, well, yeah. But I mean, more like they, the exact, they, act like, they act like it's fucking falling apart and it's hell they out act here. Like it's Pompeii. Have you never been to fucking Los Angeles before? It's pretty fucking nice. First of all, California is also fucking massive. It's almost the entire West Coast. So, yeah, yeah, California. The I think we need public of California. <laughs> Yeah. California, more like California. A leftist paradise where they're making children transgender. What did Layton say? The the plan. It's the plan. The plan pandemic. Yeah, the pandemic. Yep. See, Biden would have you think that this all just happened. Oh, did you see he wore a tan suit in solidarity? Yeah, real <laughs> funny. Real I, funny. With Obama. You know, I heard that the vaccine makes you trans, and they're calling it the transdemic now. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, good Justin. luck with that, Justin. I guess he's got to move to California now. So, how about the weather? It's been nice. It's been, yeah. it's it's been pretty actually, hot, though. La yesterday felt really good. It's pretty hot, but it gets cool during the night. I woke, it's so fucking nice out here, dude. This is like the best weather ever. It gets hot, but it's not humid. Oh. You're usually in an igloo. Give it like, yeah. give it North, like a well, month. I don't know. North Dakota's not that bad. Like, it's just cold. Very cold. I gotta, very I gotta, cold, I gotta walk like five hours to to go to Target. But well, is it just for some new slippers? No, just to get out. Oh, yeah, just to, just to see, just other to see people. other other humans. I don't know. I mean, the walk here isn't that bad either. Justin has to use the Target Wi-Fi to uh, download our videos and upload them. I I used to have. I actually, I can remember. I tried using Target Wi-Fi to download videos for best ofs. I tried using <laughs> McDonald's Wi-Fi. Subway Wi-Fi? Never Subway. Mm. Taco Bell Wi-Fi. Spaghetti okay. Factory Wi-Fi. Wi I would use Dollar Tree. They don't have fucking Wi-Fi there, bro. <laughs> mm -mm. No, oh my God. I i don't know if I've ever actually talked about the old days on the podcast. When I would Bye. just cruise, no, I'm just <laughs> when I would cruise around, I'd have to fucking find Wi-Fi to download the best ofs because my internet at home just didn't Was that work. bad? Yeah. It now it's work. better. Your internet's, yeah. it's a lot better now. Yeah, so I can, Which, I can work from home normally now, but like, I used to have to just fucking drive all over the place. I would have to drive like an hour and a half away sometimes. Did you feel like you were in a movie? What? Where like, yeah. It was like, doot, doot, doot. It would get like a fourth away, then you have to go somewhere else to get the bar to that continue sucks, to go man. back. That sucks, man. I didn't one know that. Time, and like, where did that happen at? Justin would get put in jail in sometimes on purpose tornado. just to... I almost got into a car accident one time because I was going to go download the footage for Kingdom Hearts. And I had to drive really far away to go get all that downloaded because I wanted to get it out quick because the game just came out. And it was snowing so fucking bad that I had to turn around and I felt so sad. 
I felt that so, you I was couldn't so wa- sad. That you couldn't, couldn't watch Kingdom Hearts. No, I was just so sad. He was like, fuck, I'm not going to get it edited on time. We remember that, and Justin. Then, and then it, it ended up going out and everyone hated it. So I'm glad I didn't. I could have I could have potentially wrecked my car and, well, and gone to the hospital. A lot of people actually liked it. Yeah. A lot of losers hated some, it. Some a people were upset we didn't take the, sor- the story seriously. There is no fucking story. Justin, I fu- stop. Shh. I'm going to say it right now. There's no fucking story in Kingdom Hearts. That shit fucking sucks. If you enjoy it, have fun. Sonic lore fucking sucks too. But don't act like people are fucking like stupid for not wanting to watch the fucking lore. Well, also, it's like Ryan and I. Sandorf and Glock to do. Gleam. (laughs) Killing Goofy and and, and we've never We jump into Kingdom Hearts 3 as the first thing. You think we're going to understand. I'm not sitting there watching a movie during a Let's Play. (laughs) Also, we were high as fuck when we recorded that. When are we not? Look, I mean, you can a couple stoners, brother. People can like what they want to like for sure. I have no problem. That's one thing. But like, like, I I just think I don't know. When you get that angry about it, like I don't know, just chill. Just let yeah, just let people do what they. I don't know. That's my thing. Like some people get like like certain songs or this. Like they have to be like this. Just yeah, and like like, there's nothing made for you. There's nothing wrong with criticizing things sometimes but like there's also a point where it's like twitter takes it too much where it's like yeah like matt doesn't like the 13th amendment but he doesn't go telling everybody you don't like ouch what it's it's the only it's the only album in in all of 2020 i listened to really yeah got you through the pandemic (laughs) yeah the pandemic the pandemic or like the bandemic because music band you know, put Margie on repeat. Thanks, man. It's my favorite one I ever did. No, it's not. Except for the three new ones I haven't released yet. Those are the best, actually. Matt, why don't you come over? Come over. I don't want to go to a fucking igloo, Justin. No, uh, Justin's a... listened to it. It's... Thank you, man. Of course I have. Thanks, I support a lot. the bro. Thank you, you know? bro. Yeah, I like your music too. The Castaway shit was so. I when you sent me that before it came out, I put it on my my sound system, my living room, and I put it on loop while I cleaned, and I listened to it probably no joke like twenty times. <laughs> in a row. I just, just want to say, I got a in the look. in the new music video when you kissed the fish tank. Was uh-huh. that in support for bestiality? Yes. Okay. What happened to the I goldfish? So. I after? told my mom. Where did the goldfish go? He unfortunately passed away. Did on he actually? Set? No, not on set. Uh, a couple days later. Uh, who kept him? I did. Oh, it was it, it the was it the lights? Did, did you, you name them? Freak the fuck out! No, it light? was a did yeah. I named him Seymour. It was a uh, before the shoot. Mm-hmm. So you could so Seymour is is a credit in the shoot, not listed. He's uncredited, but yes, Bro. I I really like that fish. But the so I got him uh at a like PetSmart from the you know, the big fucking dirty tank where they have a hundred dead ones floating. So he's already at a disadvantage. And then we were really good with him the whole shoot. Like I I picked up the bowl like. He was trained very well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We had an animal safety. We had PETA on set. Uh, and then afterwards, we we uh, humanely stepped on him because uh, we didn't need him anymore. No, but he, uh, he he passed away a couple days later. I was feeding him. I cleaned I I cleaned his tank. I got new water. I got the purification stuff. And I was going to keep dish them. soap in the water so it would remain clean. To, yeah, I wanted to keep it clean. And just, you know. But, unfortunate. But then I got Michael Jackson shortly after. And now I've had Michael Jackson for almost half a year. And he is He's going strong. He, he's beautiful, man. He's a fucking he's beautiful got his fish. color back. Well, when I got him, he was like white. Now he's like dark blue. He used to have some red, now he's completely dark I'm blue. I'm thinking about getting a fish or something. I want to get a goldfish. Fisher, I want to get the, I, uh, I would the rec- Japanese goldfish with the funny eyes. Oh, the, the big yeah, popped the big out ones? Popped out eyes. The, uh, Those I are my sh- favorite ones to catch in uh, Animal Crossing. There's black ones. They're so goofy looking. I'm restarting Animal Crossing today. Or I'm making Restarting. a new save file. I'll okay. Keep my old one, but I. Because you're like, I need to get reacquainted. I want to get reacquainted, but I also. I need that grind again. I've never played it this time of year. So I'm starting it late summer, which means like all the fish and stuff are different from when I played it and got sick oh, of it the true, first time. True. I've true. True. I've always put. Jackson the, the Japanese goldfish, uh, like in a tank in every Animal Crossing game I've ever played. Really? I, anytime I would catch one, I'd be so excited. They're like my favorite fish ever. What are they the, called? They're, they're the, the ones Japanese that are kind of like circular, right? Is it just called the Japanese? That's what I've been. That's they're the ones that are like right called. circular, kind of like fat. Are they, and they the, have the bulbous big ones. Yeah, they, they have. Uh, they have uh, big eyes. Yeah, my sister had a black one named Jet. Is that what your uh, video essay is going to be about? What? Are you making a video essay uh, about for our fishing video? Oh yeah, the I tier list. Video? You, have, you haven't gotten oh, to the that's end. Right. Trust in, we gotta that's get that right. video on ASAP. Right. We haven't dropped a video in a week. Is it this big boy? It's not him. Japanese goldfish. I like these dudes. 
That one is that one is funny looking. It's I think it's called a Popeye goldfish. So the Japan oh wow, I've been calling it the wrong thing the whole time. Popeye goldfish, right? Uh, Justin, you should get a betta fish. Bubble. These dudes. Yeah, that's the one. Let me see. I wonder why why do they call them Japanese goldfish then? No, because see, here's one. It's called a Japanese goldfish. But that thing's creepy, but this cool. is the one I like. This this, this is a, dude. Yes, or, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude. So it is a Japanese goldfish? Beta fish are beautiful. I, think, I love beta I think fish. they're most commonly known as Popeye, but they might, have, they might be called the Japanese goldfish. You get a koi. A big ass fucking koi. My dream, if you I get ever, an alligator. If I ever buy a house, I, I would get love a to name have it a Steve. Ga- See, gators are cool, like, but also it's they're, crocodiles. They're pretty, no, there's two different ones. No, I gators know. are nicer. Crocs are fucking crazy. Yeah, you don't want to. Gators will still and, fucking, yeah, chomp you. Especially if you tease them. You guys ever seen the videos of the the dudes that have like gators out in ponds in Florida and they've trained them so that they can like, the gators will like swim up and you can hug them. Then there's the guy who takes his gators out or his one gator out on a leash and walks with them. There's a a man in Japan who does that with a turtle or a tortoise. Aw. Gators are like, I think the closest thing to dinosaurs that still exist. Technically it's birds, but who's counting? I think of some like like yeah something that has just a primitive brain like birds or like a like a great white shark. I think birds or, like, are sharks have been around us. before trees. Did you know that? I sharks remember you telling me that. Trees. Sharks are fucking ancient. Birds are actually still considered dinosaurs technically. So we still live amongst dinosaurs. Technically, yeah. Uh, that's that, that's I guess I guess some people debate that, but and all the signs because I was showing well, that, you eons. Yeah, they always referred to birds as as dinosaurs still. The and news, they referred to old dinosaurs as like extinct dinosaurs. Remember, okay. we were like middle school or high school when that like revelation first came out. That was like okay, dinosaurs uh, had feathers. I, was, I think I was in I, yeah, it was, I was in tenth grade. It was or ninth feathers, grade. but there's also like the one where it's. I remember it was uh, being taught a lot more broadly that they were closer related to like chickens and shit i mean it makes sense when you think about like look at a chicken it's it's like there's this there's this one we don't think of it because it has feathers but like if a chicken were scaly you'd think it's just there's this one paleontologist dude that for like the last 15 years has been trying to like bring like trying to unlock like ancient genes and chickens to like make it have a tail again (laughs) and shit and like uh like have it grow arms and stuff the emus and like ostriches those are like just raptors yeah Fuck Wait, ostriches. Did, did, I don't I don't fucking trust right? ostriches. I love them. They're ostriches. eggs. I would love to eat an ostrich egg. I wonder what it tastes like. They're like Where are they huge. from? They're from They're Africa, dinosaurs. right? Or ostr- ostriches Aust- from Africa? Australia, maybe? I don't know. Em- emu- emus are from Australia. Oh. Ostriches, ostriches probably from, Africa, from everything's right? from Africa. Yeah. They're in the Lion King, so they must yeah. I you know, love, like, um ostriches are they're cool, but they just freak me the fuck out. You ever seen out. videos of people riding them? It's, it's like the only bird you can the fucking jockeys. ride. The jockeys. That ride the ostriches. Have you, ostriches, I think, are really fucking cool. It's crazy. Like, the diversity of birds is crazy. You guys like, ever seen from penguin to dove to ostrich. You guys ever seen terror birds before? Terror birds? Yeah, look it up. Have you ever seen Angry Birds? What's that? Have you seen Angry Stupid Birds shit. 2? I haven't seen the second movie, but I like the first one a Wait, lot. Wait, isn't that the movie with Smosh in it? Mm-hmm. I fucking love Smosh, dude. Dude, you want to meet him? Mr. Smosh? I'd like to meet Mr. Smosh. So, do you want to meet him? Yeah. Would, would, that, would that be surreal for you? Yes, the terror bird. Yes, it w- that would actually be fucking crazy if I ever met Ian or Anthony from Smosh because I worship. Oh, we can invite Ian over them. right now. Say, hey, Ian, will you come? Uh, Ryan's little brother's in town. Are these the things from Ark? Please. Well, I mean, they just. Yes, well, like, they these are. are in Ark, right? They are, yeah. They fucking suck in Ark. monsters. What, are you looking at a picture of your mother, Ryan? Stop, dude. <laughs> uh, Mr. Smosh, uh, you have a, a call on line four. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. If Smosh is actually Ian and Anthony were played by the same guy. They just doubled him. <laughs> <laughs> Little fun fact. That's a good conspiracy theory for like a video. I don't think I've ever hung out with Ian and not gotten like blackout drunk. Is he a heavy drinker? Yeah, he's an alcoholic. Well, they always say never meet your heroes. Yeah. See, I heard I, he was. I heard he was racist as fuck. Oh Did, my god! Yes. Was he singing be- Box Man? Mm-hmm. The he, box re- he replaced some words in box man with some other words. Smosh follows like, me on Twitter. Woo! Really? Yeah. The Smosh account. We, does. We, you can go be on a. Let's get. Let's get Justin. They on answered Smosh. your question. That's not. So did okay, we before okay, we knew who you, know you were. You and know it's what? in a video. You know what? I've always kept this a secret, but I will mention it now, finally, officially, since it was just brought up. Because I haven't even been thinking about it. I was on an episode of Lunchtime with Smosh. This is true. It really? exists. 
there exists footage of Anthony from Smosh saying nothing but lag. Whoa! And I, I'm not going to say what episode. I'm not going to say what year. The fans will have to go try to find it. That's a lot of episodes. If anyone even listens this far, they might have already clicked off. That is true. This is far into the podcast. Yeah, Honestly, they might also, have already clicked off. So that that lowers our chances. But if you can find it and send it to me, that'd be. Do you even I'd remember what episode? I remember. I can of course show you remember, dude. Hey, you know what's crazy? Actually, same. When I was in eighth grade and I was trying to do YouTube with my friend Fabian and we had a new channel called like Mosh Pit of Films or something. Mm -hmm. Totally not inspired by Smosh. Uh, we were trying to do like Smosh type videos and I commented on one of their videos when it came out and I was like, one of your best ones yet. And Smosh responded and said, thank you. And I <sighs> freaked out. I used to have dreams all the time where I was like meeting or hanging out with Smosh or Fred. Or Shane Dawson. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say that one, but yeah. Why not? Hey, Shane Dawson. I met Shane Dawson. We've talked about yeah, that Yeah, there's before. a great picture of it, too, where you guys are... I'm never putting that anywhere. See, Justin, <laughs> no. please, why? Because everyone, everyone's just going to make fun of the way I look. Straight up. Justin, no, they're people, not going to focus... People made fun of the way I looked before I even had any clout online, and but they you, found that picture. But you're a kid in the picture, so like... Who cares? Justin, don't care. look at the shit that we post of ourselves when we're younger. Justin, I have a fucking 60, 70 YouTube videos of myself from like 2008 where I'm being a, a disgusting little greasy haired kid. And he grabbed on, your dad's bro. penis. I did grab I'm my dad's to, penis. I'm trying to find trying to find lunchtime with Smosh. Here it is right here. Also, Justin, we mentioned you in the Q&A before we even knew you. I know. Like the, one I of the very that. first super mega Q&As like back in 2016, we were like, only, nothing but lag ass. Only asked. true. You guys never said my username. You just read the question. No, we said we said it because that's how people found it. It said nothing but lag asks uh, no. who would win in a fight, Matt or Ryan. You guys didn't say my name in it. Okay, okay, we're yes, gonna, we did. We're gonna figure this out. What what video was this? Which Q and A? Super mega Q and A? I think the first one. And if it wasn't that one, we did it at another point before we knew who you were. This one? No, I'm watching it. Wait, are we synced up? Hey everybody. Uh, so this is gonna be a oh yeah. Q &A video, Matt Does Matt own more than one shirt? There it is, 314. Listen. Wait, let's see. Told you. No, I skipped too far. I'm telling you. Let's see. My, my... Which one of you would win? You're right. Oh, we showed your username. Yeah. Okay, because I was because I was wondering like how people knew. You guys that. mentioned me on the podcast a lot back in the day. I remember that, and then I remember there were there was a group of. We still mention you. I know. Oh my god, Justin, I'm here you right now. So, you look so young. And there was a uh, God. We look fucking young. Yep. There we. There was are. A, there was a group of, of that. kids the that were of there all. was a group of kids that were very mad at me because uh, you guys would mention me so much. Why are they, they mad? Me. Because, they're because, yeah, they're jealous of the attention. Anyways, are you guys ready to hear Anthony from Smosh say my name? Yes. This will have to get cut out. This will have to be cut out, whoever uh, edits this later. Wait, why don't you want people to know? Because I want them to find it. Oh, okay. I don't want it's an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, I want it, I want it to be a surprise. But we're cut cut this out. Cut it wait, out. You, okay. you, I'm editing this. We can't one. even just hear him say it? Hi, Ryan. Smooch. Here we go. Justin, you do we, you do we can't just keep that little clip in there? No. You don't want people to even hear it? But they won't even know what video it's from. Just it to, has to be. I want it to be a surprise. Like, oh my God. Because it might discourage people from going to look for it if they hear the audio That already. won't, I promise. They will look for it. These kids are psychotic and obsessed and racist. <sighs> will it make the podcast better? Yeah, you hear Anthony from Smosh say, nothing but lag. How about I bleep out a part of your username? So if they want to hear it, <laughs> nothing but beep. if they want to if they want to hear the uncensored version, then they have to go find it themselves. To yes. Okay. Wait. Wait. I'll also, what that. a nut but lag. You know. No. How about something. nothing but <laughs> lag? What about maybe, a, maybe lag should. I don't know. Also, do you, you guys want your better judgment? But boop. Do you guys no, want? Uh, but, I, <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Do you guys want? Uh, downloadable version of the podcast that has no ads on Patreon because people suggested like why don't you make a version of the podcast that doesn't have ad reads and put it on Patreon and also we're putting up a poll who uh, who wants this podcast to end Justin plug yourself with a sharpie uh, <laughs> nothing but lag on everything no G it's no, there's a G in lag but there's no, no G, G in nothing. nothing nothing but lag on, on Twitter nothing. nothing but lag on Instagram Nothing but lag on YouTube and, and Spotify. Twitch. Justin on I streaming am on services Spotify. has yes. some music. Yes, yes, yes. Stream DTF. Are you going to not? And Jinbei. 
stream stream some more stream some straight up NBL because yeah are you gonna make more music you yes, planning on it I, I, don't, I don't know what to make next that's the struggle my last one yeah, just look at board. Sorry. What? Bye.